Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Brad Cameron and Clint Smith here at Memorial Stadium, Broken Bow, Oklahoma, for tonight's 4A matchup between the Salisaw Black Diamonds and the Broken Bow Savages. Uh, sorry we're a little bit late coming on the air tonight. Me and Clint got a late start getting down here today. Clint, I guess we really need to start getting here earlier. Yeah, we're, we're really not very punctual, though. Well, it's kind of tough when you, you got to work during the day and, and try to get down here. It makes it hard. We're ready for a big, huge game tonight between Class three, Class 4A number 3, your Southside Black Diamonds, and I believe Class 4A number 10, the Broken Bow Savages. Is that correct, Clint? That is correct. Big game tonight. This will, this will be Southside's toughest test we're thinking so far this season and looks to, like to be a good game. Broken Bowl looks really fast. Looks like probably the fastest team Southside's played. They're not really a big team, but they look very fast. They've, they've played a several tough games already this season, Broken Bow has, and one of those is uh, they played, I think last week, they played North Lamar out of Texas. Yes. Really, really tough school. They they got thumped a little bit, but they're, pretty, they're not a bad football team. Broken Bowl is not at all. Clint, what do you think about the... Uh, what do you think about the Diamonds tonight matching up against this uh, Broken Bow Savages team? Well, I think it's going to be a good game. I think you're going to get your usual dose of heavy-duty running from the Diamonds. I think that offensive line is going to take control of the game like they have been in the past. And I really, I, I think this is going to be a real test for our secondary of our defense because I know Broken Bow likes to air the ball at a lot, likes to pass. They've got a couple of good receivers. So this is going to be a real test for our secondary. Yeah, um, Southall comes in here, ranked number two in 4A in total yards by team, averaging 403 yards a game. I don't see Broken Bow in the top 10, but their offense is, their offense is good. They are a fast football team. They're going to be they're going to be tough to contend with. And and you know, Clint, it always seems like Southall has problems defending, fa playing against fast, really really fast teams. And and this Broken Bow team is a very fast team. Yeah, they are, and they, they have a tendency to break the big play, which is one thing we're really going to have to be cautious of tonight and then not give up that big play that can just really break the game wide open. Well, we're close to kickoff, ladies and gentlemen, probably approximately about five minutes away from kickoff. The uh, Looks like the um, captains are on the field, along with the bands, ready for the teams to take the field. You know, Clint, we have the leading rusher in the state on our team. That's what I hear in Class 4A, and you know I've got these uh, I've got these stats here somewhere, but <laughs> we've got lots of stats actually. <laughs> let's go with let's go with scoring in Class 4A. Bubba Philpott is actually the leading scorer in 4A. He has 10 touchdowns this year, and he's got one two-point conversion. So you know what that would equal up, Clint? A lot of points. That would equal up 62 points, buddy. I, I went to math class. I didn't I, miss it. I skipped that one. Yeah. Oh, here we found the rushing stats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like uh, Bubba Philpott is the leading Class 4A rusher this year. On 72 attempts, he has a total of 862 yards, which is almost twice as much as the next guy below him there from Stillwell. So he's just he's been phenomenal so far rushing the ball. Yeah, he has. Kyle Stewart's Kyle Stewart's in there in the top 20 also in rushing yards. I think he is. He's got a uh, 25 attempts for 122 yards and two touchdowns. Yeah, if he had more carries, he'd probably be up there in the top five. He would. Five. But it's hard to give him. It's hard to give him those carries, you know, whenever Philpott's just running over people. Oh yeah. I mean, just flattening people every week. But he puts some nasty hits on them. Well, we really haven't been paying attention, so we don't know who's getting the ball first. But we will here before long. I think the Black Diamonds are going to get the ball. Jordan Simons, Randy Tonchi, and. Joseph Branham are the captains for the Diamonds. We'd like to thank uh, Charlie's Chicken for the uh, pregame meal tonight, Chicken Chunks. Thanks uh, Jason and Larry and Allison down there, y'all, hooking us up, hooking us up right. Oh, yeah, there's nothing like Chicken Chunks for a long road trip. Yeah. I think Clint's still got some honey mustard on his hand over here from uh, the... I know I got some on my shirt. He's, got, he's saving some on his shirt, so... If you're listening at Charlie's Chicken back in Southall, you can be very proud right there. <laughs> That's right. Your honey mustard has made it to Broken Bow and has been exposed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just waiting for the teams to take the field, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, we're ready for kickoff up here, aren't we, Dylan? I'd like to thank Dylan Jasmine tonight. He's doing all of our techie stuff for us while me and Clint make fools of ourselves on the radio. I mean, on the uh, air. 
The Broken Bow Savages are coached by Greg Warner. First game of the year, the Broken Bow Savages played Chickasha and got a victory off of that out of that game. Second game of the season, they played Paris North Lamar. That would be Paris, Texas, and I think it's North Lamar High School. They uh, lost that game. We don't have any scores on these games, but we know they got beat, and they got beat pretty handily in that they game. They did. And then last week they played Tulsa East Central, and it seems like they lost that game also. Which I believe they were number five ranked 5A team in the yes. state. Yes, the oh, East Central oh, Cardinals yeah. are ranked number five in Class 5A. So, so they've had some tough matchups, a little tougher than the, than the Diamonds games, I, I would imagine. But Well, well I saw it quote this week from Virgil Terry, he said that they were the best one and two team in the state. Well, that's well, I would definitely right agree with that. Yeah. Tough. They come in here with uh, Gregory King. He was a 15 he was a 1500 yard rusher last year. He's uh, him and Jake Ellison are in the backfield for him. I've heard quite a bit about their quarterback Jody Shomo as well. He's they say he's got a really good arm and he likes to throw the ball. And they got a big, they got a big tight end named Kyle Beam. I think he's about 6'4". Big kid. He catches the ball down the field. I think they they like to get him the ball. Uh, yeah, they they've got an outstanding wideout in Jose Perez. I've read a lot about him this year. He's supposed to be a speedy wideout with really good hands. We'll see what they do. Diamonds come in here with quarterback Jacob Bartel, who who came off a pretty decent game over at Muldrow. Of course, it's hard to have a decent game at quarterback when your running backs just flatten people. Yeah, that's true. Actually, the Diamonds come in number one in the entire state, all classes, in their rushing offense, averaging 368 yards per game. They've racked up 1,100 yards in just three games so far this year, which is just uh, its amazing. That is good. Very good, Clint. Coach Warner of the Broken Bow Savages has a uh, career record here at Broken Bow has a record here at Broken Bow of 40 and 40 and 11. So he's had a few good seasons here at Broken Bow. Well, the Diamonds have taken the field and the Savages look like they're ready to go too. So we're ready for kickoff. We're gonna go to a word from our sponsor. right now, but if he was, I'm sure he'd be reminding you. Hello, I seem to have locked myself in my dressing room. And if you're in the market for a new or used car, truck, van, or SUV, a little help here. And you want the lowest possible price in that vehicle. Well, that's, oh, that's better. You need to come see us here at the home of the low price cars. That was the darndest thing. All right, uh, three, two, one. Hey! Blue Ribbon Salazar, home of the low price cars. Well, what do you mean the commercial's already over? All right, Diamond fans, we're back and we're ready for the kickoff here at Memorial Stadium in Broken Bow. The Diamonds will kick the ball off. It'll be Carlos Nieto to kick for the Diamonds, number 14. Back to receive for the Broken Bow Savages would be number seven, Albert Wright. Nieto with the kick. It's a pretty decent kick down to about the 15 where it takes a bounce. It's picked up by number 24. He's up across the 30 where he's brought down. Nice tackle on the play there by Jordan Simons. Number 24, Jake Gregory took the return for the Savages. Fans, if you have any feedback of the nice game, you can email us. You can email me and Clint at feedback at diamondnet.us. Again, that's feedback at diamondnet.us. We've had one email in two weeks. We're pushing the, pushing the limits on it. I really think that no feedback is better than bad feedback. Though. Broken Bowl breaks the huddle. Quarterback Shomo under center. He takes the snap. He turns. He's going to give it to the back. He's up. He's stuck by the diamonds right there. Looks like big number 58. That'll be Clay Agent on the tackle for the diamonds. That's Gregory King, number five, for the Broken Bow Savages. Clint, we're going to be calling his name a lot tonight. He gets a lot of carries. Yeah, I think so. That's a good tackle, though, by Clay Agent right there. He really stuck him. I really don't like your cords going over me all the time. I don't know why you have to be so picky like that. 
Jomo under center. He's got two receivers out right. He turns. He's going to pitch it to King outside. He's going to get up. He's going to gain some yardage. He's going to be across the 35. Let's call across the 40 where he's going to be brought down. Let's call him down at about the 46-yard line here of Broken Bowl. It's going to bring up third and about, let's call it one, third and one. Actually, they're going to bring out the sticks, Clint. They'll bring out the old chain gang. Let's see what kind of measurement we get here. They're not as good as our chain gang back home. Look at them. They're just really slow. Our guys are out there like Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're highly trained. Very skilled professionals. First down. As you heard the PA announcer say, first down. Savages. Clint, you keep shaking that table, man. I'm like a bull in a china shop. Eleven minutes left, first quarter. Broken bow ball. First and ten, ball on the 47 of the Broken Bow Savages. They break the huddle. Shomo comes out under center. Eye formation. He turns, he fakes the pitch, he's going to throw downfield. He's got a receiver deep. It's going to be underthrown. I think he had to rush that pass just a little bit. He had a pretty good pass rush on him, and he couldn't yeah. really step into it. Good pass rush by the Diamonds. Number 22, Jake C. on the coverage for the, for the Black Diamonds also. It's going to bring up second down for the Savages. Good job, Jake. We've seen you right there. Good coverage. Shomo comes out under center, eye formation. Receiver split left. He turns. He's going to give it to King. He tries to bounce outside. He's hitting the backfield. Nice tackle right there by number 23, Randy Tonchi. He's all over him, Clint. I believe that's one of my favorite players on the tackle there. I bet it is. Yeah, I don't know why, though. Nice job, Randy, on the tackle. It's going to bring up third and 11 for the Savages. They break the huddle. Shomo under center. Eye formation. Three receivers. Takes the snap. He fakes the pitch. He's going to throw across the middle. Looks like he's got his tight end. He's going to be hit hard by Hadley and brought down, but it's going to be a first down, Savages. Nice catch by the tight end right there. That's number 88, Kyle Beam. He's their, uh, he's their tight end. He's, 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 a, good he's, a, he's a big guy. He's, he looks a lot bigger out there with those pads on than he did when we saw him earlier he's before listed, the game. He's listed at 6'3", 220. I'd say he's every bit of that. Yeah, he really didn't look that big while ago when we sent it next time. No, he didn't, but he, he certainly looks bigger now with those pads on. I towered over him. Yeah, I really don't know what to say about that. Shomo with the pitch outside. King's up the field. He's hit. Good tackle by the Diamonds. Not much on the play. Number 20, Blake Ray. Number 51, Clint Agent there for the stop for the Diamonds. Good job. Ball spotted on about the 36. Let's give him three yards on the play. I think we're going to see a lot of that option tonight. Broken Bow likes to run that option. Get out wide. It's good to have options. Options are good. That's right. I think we're going to see a lot of that tonight, though. Second and seven for the Savages. Ball on the 36. Trips right for the Savages. One back, it's King. They're going to run the option down the line. The pitch in the backfield. Nice pursuit by the Diamonds. He turns the corner, though. King's up the field. He's fast. He's out of, knocked out of bounds, but he's got a good pickup on the play. He's going to give him a first down and more. Pickup of about nine on the play for the Savages. First down. You see him hit the corner, Clint, he's fast. He did. Yeah, he outrun us to the corner. That was a, the pitch was a little bit high and behind him, too. He made a good recovery well, and still got around the end. The Diamonds did what they needed to do. They needed to stop the quarterback from getting down the line. They made the quarterback pitch the ball fast, but then they got to pursue the they got to pursue the back quicker. That kid's got some speed. Shomo under center. High formation. Double tight end set. He turns. He gives it to King. He tries to bounce outside. He gets a few yards before he's wrestled down by a few Diamonds. 23, Randy Tonchi in on the tackle there, I know. Several more. 
think about half the Diamond team was on the, in on the tackle. I think some of the guys off the sidelines ran out there and got in on that tackle. Back number 51, Clint Agent, also in there on the stop for the Diamonds. That takes the ball down to the 19-yard line. Second and three, pick up a seven on the play for King. Broken Bow breaks the huddle, Shomo under center. He takes the snap, he gives it to King up the middle. He bounces over, looks like he's gonna be close to a first down. Looks like Zach Spencer is there on the tackle for the Diamonds. They're gonna bring out the sticks, it looks like Clint. It's gonna be close to a first down yeah, right here. It's really close. There he is, Zach Spencer, on the tackle for the Diamonds. And there he went. And we have an official timeout on the field. Floor. They're going to measure again. We've got an official timeout. Clint, what do you got for us? Well, this broadcast is being brought to you by Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, offering the Salisaw community the widest range of latest choices and options for your family. And also the Blue Ribbon Auto Group, offering Chevrolet Pontiac GMC Buick Dodge Chrysler and Jeep products in Salisaw, will be any advertised price here in Jeep. Call us or come see us just south of I-40 on Highway 59. That's Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low-priced cars. Go out there and you might see old Bob Famous. Uh, it's pretty unlikely. Uh, you'll see Dwight Spencer anyway. Yeah, he's, he's, he's famous enough for us. There you go. Ball on the 16. It will be a first and 10 Savages. 7.46 left, first quarter. Diamond zero, Savages zero. Shomo under center. Eye formation, double tight end said. He takes the snap. He, he turns, he's going to be a quarterback sweep outside. He's around the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown, broken bow. Little quarterback keeper to the outside. He just kept it, and there was no diamonds in the way. I don't know what happened there. Defense broke down. I don't know. That was, that was a long drive there to start the game by broken bow. They used up almost five minutes of the first quarter. Into kick for the Savages. Would be number number 12, Jose Perez. Actually, number 13, Drew Prater to kick for the Savages. It's up and it's good. So with 7:31 left, first quarter, Savages seven, Black Diamond zero. Perry's Office Supply has been serving Sequoia County since 1978. We have everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. We've got it all from paper clips to computer supplies, even office furniture. You can send and receive faxes at Perry's. Just go see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak in Salisaw. You call, that's all. He'll haul. Yeah, you need to go down there and see old Stephen Jumper too. He'll... Yeah, say hello to old Stephen. Ask him, ask him to show you that camera. Another one of our sponsors tonight is going to be Salisaw Lumber Company because every little detail counts. You can count on Salisaw Lumber for quality building materials including Valspar products and Anderson windows. Good results begin with a solid foundation and that requires the right materials for the job. That's why the pros and do-it-yourselfers trust Salisaw Lumber. All right, Clint. Can't go wrong with Salisaw Lumber. Drew Prater on the kick for the Savages. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for our... our Diamond Net Trivia questions of the night. We're going to be giving away some neat prizes. Prater on to kick. Pretty decent kick. It's going to be taken by Jake C. down about the five-yard line. He's up to the left side. He's trying to maneuver around runners, but he can't. He's going to be knocked down at about the 19, maybe the 20. So the Diamonds will take over there. 7.24 left, first quarter. Savages went right down the field, scored a touchdown on us, Clint. What do you think? The Diamonds need to do on this position here. Well, I think we need to answer that with another long, with a long drive of our own, and just really pound them with that, that just hardcore running game that we have, and let that offensive line try to take control of this game and dominate like they have throughout the first few games of the year. I agree. Their defense really don't look very big. See how they handle Philpot hitting them in the mouth. They may not like it. Eye formation for the Diamonds. Bartell under center. Philpot in the backfield. Takes the snap, he turns, he fakes, he's gonna throw the football. He's got a man downfield, it's Stephen Branham off of his hands. Nice pass by Bartell. Stephen Branham couldn't haul it in though. It was just a, maybe just a little bit high, but it hit him right in the hands. He was there. I think they kinda, I think they caught the defense off guard with that one. It's very possible. I think they were uh, 
looking at Philpot. I really believe they were expecting a dose of Philpot that time. It's going to bring up second and 10 for the Diamonds. Ball officially on the 19 yard line. Diamonds come out, eye formation. Bartell under center, pull back in motion. They give it to Philpot. He bounces outside. He breaks the tackle. He's up. He's loose. He's running. He's to the 50, the 45, the 40, the 30, the 20. Touchdown, Diamonds. Bubba Philpot, big carry. Outrun him. Good How's job. It? How's that for an answer? We'll take it. <laughs> there you go. I don't think anybody even laid a hand on him on that play. I wonder if they've seen that yet this season. <laughs> I don't think so. Not up close and personal like that anyway. Touchdown, Philpot. Good run right there. We needed it. But that wasn't really the lengthy drive you were talking about. No. No, we really needed to chew some time off that clock, but we're not going to complain. Good carry by Philpot right there. Starting off to having a really good game for him. <laughs> yeah. Nieto on the kick for the Diamonds. Bartell to hold. Takes the snap, kick is up, and it's good. Diamond, seven, Savages, seven, 7.03 left, first quarter. It's a good drive there for the Black Diamonds. Tonight's game is brought to you by the Valley Land and Title Company. Valley Land is located at 100 North Oak Street in Salisaw. You can find them on the web at valleyland.net. Call agent Julie Haywood, Becky Tony, Linda McClanahan, and Jimsy Covington are ready to handle all of your real estate needs with abstracting, title insurance, and escrow service. Valley Land and Title Company, because it really does matter where you close. All right, Clint Diamond's on the kick. Albert Wright back to return for the Savages. Actually, the Diamonds aren't on the kick yet. But they will be soon. Not just yet. They're getting some last-minute instructions. Instructions are good. Looks like Kyle Underwood's been getting a little bit of playing time at fullback tonight. I've seen that. He did a good job blocking on that last play. Random took that nasty injury last week to his ankle. He's on the field and suited out, though. Yeah. yeah I think they're just giving him a little break. Underwood's a good fullback, though. He's, he does a good job. Oh, yeah. He'll be a good one. Nieto on the kick. Nice high kick going to be taken. Actually, it's not going to be taken by Wright. It's going to bounce into the end zone where it's going to be a touchback. Good kick for Nieto to get the touchback right Looks there. Looks like a little confusion on that one. Nobody nobody wanted to get the ball. Well, the designated returner would be Wright, and he kind of, it was kind of kicked over to the right side where an up, the up back was, and there really wasn't anyone there to take it. Don't know what happened there. Good kick by Nieto. I think I may keep it away from, from Wright, too. He's pretty fast. He is. Savages take over on the 20. 7.03 first quarter, Diamond 7, Savages 7. Need a big stop right here, Clint. Yeah, it'd be nice down here on this end of the field. Shomo under center. He takes the snap. He gives it to the fullback. Well, he's around the right side. Oh, he ain't going to get go. anywhere. He's stuffed. Multiple Diamonds there on the uh, tackle there. Looks like number 20, Jake Ellison, on the run for the Savages. He's the fullback. Randy Tonchi will call it on the tackle for the Diamonds. He's, a, he's one of the bigger fullbacks you'll see. He's a big fullback. He's 6'1". Let's see him at 6'1", 225. He looks bigger than that to me. Looks yeah. like he weighs more than that. Yeah. Eye formation, two receivers split right. The turn, the quarterback keeper. He's going to be a bootleg out around the corner. He's going to throw. He's got a man downfield. Nice catch by the tight end up, up the field. Big gain there up to about the 40. That looked like, uh, looked like number 88, Kyle Beam, in there on the, uh, on the, on the catch. That wasn't good. That wasn't a good, that wasn't a good play there for the Diamonds. They need better. No, not at all. Some unhappy people weren't happy with that one, I think. Yeah, <laughs> need some better coverage here. I formation for the Broken Bow Savages. Receiver in motion. Looks like we're going to have a, possibly a false start on the Savages. See what we got, Clint. There, yeah, moving them back. Moving back a little bit. 
don't know about the clock guy tonight. He's not really the best, I don't think. I think he came here from Muldrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the same one we had last week. Well, this one's got some different flaws. His yardage uh, isn't really right. We'll see, though. Still going to be first down for the Savages. Going to move him back five yards. Ball on the 37. Out of formation for the Savages. Going to be a turn. It's going to be the quarterback keeper to the outside. Oh, Nice run for the quarterback, Shomo. We're just plowing people on the way to the outside. He's bowling them down. He's bowling them down Branham style. Yeah, and he's really not that big of a kid. No, he's not. Shomo is 5'9", 160 pounds. So for him to get around the outside and run over people was a, a chore. <laughs> He was sure doing it at that time. He's doing his Philpot impersonation. He was. It's going to be a pickup of about, let's call it seven on the carry for Shomo. It's going to bring up a second and eight for the Savages. Ball on the 45. Eye formation for the Savages. Shomo takes a snap. He pitches it to King on the outside. He's around the right side. He's got some running room. Nice tackle there by the Diamonds. Pretty good run there by King, but a good tackle by Jordan Simons getting out there. Good job, Jordan. Way to get out there and make the stop. It's a good job. Looks like it's going to bring up about a third and two. Let's call it third and three, Clint. Uh, I like third and two better, really. I know you do, but I like third and three better. All right, have it your way. Since we're Diamond fans. There you go. Have it your way. Officially third and three by this scorekeeper, by the clock. Maintainer guy. Eye formation for the Savages. The turns, the pitch the king, he's around the left side. He's going to be hit. He's going to be close to a first down where he's brought down. I think he's going to get the first down, actually. Looks like they're going to give it to him. Of course, he's going to get a good spot at home, so we're going to, we're going to call it first down Savages. We needed a stop right there, Clint. We really did. They're stringing, and stringing together another good drive. 447 left, first quarter, Diamond 7, Savages 7. Broken Bow driving here. Ball on the 47 of Salas Hall. First and 10, Savages. Shomo breaks the huddle. He's under center. High formation. The turn. The, the fake. He's going to roll left. He's going to throw downfield. It's going to be intercepted by the Diamonds. Good job there. Who's that on the interception, Clint? Look like Kyle Stewart, number 30. Number 30, Kyle Stewart there in coverage. Two diamonds all over the receiver. And Shomo tried to force it in there, and Kyle Stewart was waiting. We needed that one. Nice play there he by the right diamonds. in front of that big tight end. That's what, that got, one off. that's what you got to do, though. That's exactly right. Diamonds take over on the 36. Some happy black diamond fans. And there you see it. And now you don't. Bartell under center, eye formation. He turns. He's going to give it to Philpot. He's up the middle. Good carry. He's hit hard, but a good carry for Philpot. He's going to pick up six or seven on the play. Another one of those hurdle maneuvers. Yeah, he jumped over. He jumped over the whole line. Looks like. And of course, Dominant fans, I know you're hearing the audio version of the game right now, but tomorrow morning, you'll get to see the game. Tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. So you're going to have to get up early. It's going to be hard for us to do, Clint, staying out tonight real late. Yeah, it's going to be pretty late by the time we get back in tonight. Eye formation for the Diamonds. Receiver left. Double tight end set. Bartell under center. He takes the snap. He gives it to Philpot. He's got a nice hole up the middle. He's going to be, he's going to have the first down or really close to it. It's going to be a good carry there for Philpot. Let's give him, the, I'm going to call it a first down already. It's going to be a first, first down. down. First down, Philpot. Good job. I'm not real sure about this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't really know if the referees know how to spot very well. Just, just don't Let's know. Let's bring about out that. the chains and they're gonna bring out the chains and see. Well they bring out the chains, we're gonna What do you got for us, Clint? You got something for us? I've got a few sponsors. Got Agent Funeral Home because in difficult times it's comforting to know that you can rely on Agent Funeral Home and their sixty eight years of experience to help you and your family. That's Agent Funeral Home, personal service with distinction. Was that good enough for you? That was excellent. All right, thank you. I'm always there for you, buddy. 
So it looks like it's going to be third down for Southall. Third and one on a poor spot by the refs, but ah, we get it right here. We'll show them. That's right. Diamonds hurry up to the line. Bartell under center. He turns it. Quick snap he gives on it the play. Pot. He's running left. He's hitting the backfield. Oh, he loses the ball the on the ball. ground. Loses the football, but fumbled out of bounds, but it'll be about a three, two or three yard loss on the play, it looks like. Couple, he did lose a couple yards on the play. Looks like it's going to bring up a fourth down, and the Diamonds will probably punt here. A defensive line got a good push on that one. We'll call it fourth and three for the Diamonds. Loss of two on the play. It, it almost looked like they caught the defense off guard because they did a quick snap on that play. Yes, it did. They I think, a, yeah. The defense made a good recovery, though. Yeah, they did. Looks like Leffler on the punt for the Diamonds. Phillip Leffler Low takes snap. the snap. Almost blocked, but he did get it off. Good kick. Taken at the 20 by King. He's hit by Blake Ray. Good tackle there by the Diamonds. He didn't get much. Good tackle. That was Shane Flashner. Good job on the tackle Good job, Shane. There. He was the special teams player of the week. That was number 81, Albert Rivera, on the return for the Broken Bow Savages. I'd like to congratulate Shane Flashner. He was the special teams player of the week last week for the Diamonds. He made a couple of big hits. Good job, Shane. Last week against Muldrow. Good job. He's the flash. Yes, he is. Maybe. I don't know any other flashers on the team. Uh, so. I really don't either, so I guess he is. Ball on the 28-yard line, first and 10 Savages. Shomo in the eye formation. Fullback, nope, it's fake to the fullback. Shomo tries to run it back up the gut, but he doesn't get much on the play. He runs into a wall, kind of. Where he's brought down. Nice play there by the Diamonds. Randy Taunchy in there again on the play for the Diamonds. Well, it's like a sauna up here in this box, isn't it? It is. I'm about to sweat out, really. <laughs> we'll get dehydrated. Our, our stat guy, Josh Bailey, in with us tonight, so we don't have much entertainment up here. <laughs> but no. we're going to do the best we can with the stats. So we'll see what we can come up with. Gain of three on the play for. Shomo takes the snap, one back formation. He turns, he swings it out wide to King. He's up the field. He gets a couple yards before he's brought down at about the 35-yard line. It's going to bring up third down. We'd like to say a big hello tonight to Sean Rothers. He's our number one fan out here. Good job, Sean. Hello, Sean, and thanks for hey, listening. Hey, Sean, what's happening, man? At least, there's, at least there's somebody out there listening there to us. There is one person listening, yes. I'm sure my wife and Brody are listening tonight. And That's right. I'm sure they're listening. Shomo under center. It's going to take a T.O. on the play. Timeout, Broken Bow. We come back. 136 left, first quarter. Diamond 7, Savage is 7. Picture a world where vacations become a reality. Grocery bills go down. Meals cost less. Picture a world with savings, value, and service like you've never experienced before. Now picture yourself walking into First National Bank and opening a Generations Gold checking account. Offering travel discounts, prescription discounts, free checks, and tons of other benefits, Generations Gold is a checking account like no other, partnering with over 200 local businesses to provide local discounts all around our community. And it's only available from a bank like no other, First National Bank Salisaw, member FDIC. Thanks, Clint. You really need to go down there and check that out. I hear it's a pretty good deal. That's what I hear every week from you. It's my job, man. Third and four for the Savages. A minute 36 left, first quarter. Diamond seven, Savages seven. Stay tuned. At the end of the first quarter, we're going to be we're going to be uh, broadcasting our first trivia question of the night. So if you can answer that, you're going to win a neat prize. We're not yes. going to announce a prize yet, but it's we want to keep you in suspense. Off formation for the Savages. The turn, the keep by Shomo to the outside. He's hit and brought down in the backfield. No, he's run out of bounds. I'm sorry. It's going to be close to a Savage first down. He pitched the ball. Looked like an option play. He got he got drilled over there on the left side, looked like. But it looks, he got rid of the football. Looks like time. pretty much no gain on the play. We'll bring on the old punt team. It's hard to... Hard to spot over there on that far side. Looks like number 58, Clay Agent, on the tackle for the Diamonds. I see a lot of fans cheering for him out here. 
especially his mama. Yeah, she's proud of him. On the punt for the Savages is somebody. Almost the, blocked by 82, Branham on the play. High kick downfield. Taken down there by the Savages. That was kind of a scary play. I didn't thought it might hit a diamond there. I was, yeah. There were several of them had their back to the ball. I was kind of scared. Yes, they did. So the Diamonds will take over on the Salisaw 44. The Scopus Law Office is a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond football. They've been serving Sequoia County in eastern Oklahoma since 1971. The Scopus Law Offices have a strong tradition in law, just as the Black Diamonds have a strong tradition in football. Located at the corner of Creek and Elm Streets, just west of the courthouse in Salisaw, the attorneys at the Scopus Law Offices are here to help you with all of your legal needs. To make an appointment, give them a call at 775-5546. Diamonds come out, eye formation, Phil Pot in the backfield, Underwood at fullback, Bartell under center. Bartell takes the snap, he turns, he fakes the Phil Pot, he's going to throw the football. He pumps, he looks outside, he's got a receiver, it's Underwood, it's going to be incomplete. It looks like he caught the ball, but then as he turned to run, he dropped it and it went out of bounds. So let's call it incomplete, bring up second down for the Diamonds. That was a nice pump fake by Bartell. It looked like he went to his check down receiver. It looks like he wanted a tight end out in the flat, up up the field in the up the field on the sideline. Well, they're kind of they're kind of cutting Bartell loose tonight and letting him throw the ball a little bit. I like to see that. I don't think Broken Bow was expecting that. I don't either, Clint. Second down for the Southall. Minute 13 left, first quarter. Bartell under center. High formation. Turn to give to Underwood up the middle. He gets he gets some yardage, plows his way forward. Nice carry for Underwood. Brought down by number 10, Alex James, for the Savages. So they pick up about four on the play for uh, pick up about four on the play for Underwood. Let's say seven. Pick up of about three on the play. It's going to bring up third and seven for the Diamonds. Bartell takes a snap. He gets to Phil Pot. He's outside. He's up to the 50. First down, Diamonds. He turns the corner. He's down the sideline up to about the 40 where he's hit hard out of bounds, Thank but you. a good carry for Phil Pot. Looks like he stepped out back here at about the 30. 37 is where they're marking him. Nice run by Philpott down the sideline. Good beat there. It's going to be a black diamond first down. He beat him to the corner and showed he his did. speed. He did beat him to the corner. Good job by Philpott. Knocking him out of bounds will stop the clock with 24 seconds left in the first quarter. This broadcast is also brought to you by Diamond Net, your hometown high speed connection to the world. We offer digital cable, telephone service, and the fastest internet access in town. Just go down and see Robin and Debbie down at customer service and they'll get you signed up so you can catch all these football broadcasts. One back set for the Diamonds, three receivers, Bartell under center, he turns, he fakes the field pot, he rolls right, he's got a receiver up the field, he hits him, it's Taunchy. Nice, nice catch for the Diamonds, it's gonna be up, that's gonna be close to a Diamond first down. Nice pass by Bartell to zip it in there and nice catch by Taunchy to make the play. Good job, guys. All right, fans, here's your chance for the first big Diamond Net trivia question of the year. Clint, that's that's gonna be a that's gonna be a first down. All right. All right, we'll hold off till the now now I don't know what the clock man's doing here. Well I told so we'll, you I told you all ago what was going on, but so we'll go ahead and do the trivia question now. You, you and Dylan just really don't want to listen to me tonight. No, we don't. So we'll go ahead and go with the trivia question now. All right folks, into the first quarter. Savage is seven, diamond seven. All right, the first correct answer to feedback at diamondnet.us will win. I'll let Brad tell you what the, the prize is. It's a free massage of, of your whatever you want, whatever kind of massage you want, down at New Image by Misty Bailey, the masseuse down there. That's she, right. She'll give you a massage, but you can, you can get that you can get that sports massage. You can get the, uh, what, what was it, the hot stone or massage. Yeah. There's, there's multiple massages down there for, for you guys. If you, you, get a, you get a free one, though, and I think it's an hour, I think. Uh, that's what I hear. That'd be a nice gift. It, it's free, and it goes through the, through the uh, first. The first. All right. If you, can name, if you can name who was a player from Broken Bow High School who went on to play college ball at Oklahoma State University 
and went on to play six seasons in the NFL during the mid-60s with the Cleveland Browns. If you can name that player, alumni from Broken Bow High School, if you can name that, be the first correct answer at feedback at diamondnet.us, you'll win the free hour-long massage. There you go. This broadcast is also being brought to you by the Sequoia County Times. If you'd like a DVD of the game for $15, contact the Sequoia County Times or email football at seqcotimes.com. I formation, Bartell under center. He takes the snap. He fakes. He looks downfield. He's got a receiver. He throws it high and deep. It's going to be caught by Taunchy. Touchdown, Diamonds. Nice catch by Randy Taunchy. Nice throw by Bartell. Hung it up there. And he brought it in. Touchdown, Diamonds. Good job, guys. I like the passing tonight. I do too. That offensive line is doing a tremendous job of pass blocking, giving Bartell time to get rid of that ball. That play action pass is tearing him up. Here. Oh, it's mean. Kick by Nieto. It's up. It's good. Diamonds 14, Savage is 7, 11 51 left, second quarter. It appears that we got one of our fans that thinks that's too hard of a question. Now, I, I think you can find it. Do a little research. Do your homework on that one. If you've got uh, if you've got Diamond Internet at home, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Oh, uh, at the speed of light. Here in Sequoia County, you'll find Shelter Insurance Agent George Glenn. He's proud to serve this community and his customers for the past 35 years. Give George a call and ask about all of Shelter's services. Give him a call down there. That's right. It's also brought to you by Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, offering the Salisaw community the widest range of latest choices and options for your family. Again, if you want that massage, feedback at diamondnet.us if you know the answer. And if you give us a good answer, we, may even, we might even give it to you then. And if you send us some good feedback, feedback, you never know what might happen. Crazy things can happen. 11.51 left, second quarter. Carlos Nieto on to kick for the Diamonds. Nice high kick for Carlos. He's going to be taken at about the 15 by the Savages. He's up to the 30, 35, where he's going to be knocked out of bounds. That is number 24. I lost my broken bow roster, Clint. It could have blew, could have blew away. There's not much breeze in here. I don't see that happening. I think I got it in my hand. I wish I'd really never said anything. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with you. That was number 24, Jake Gregory on the turn for the Savages. Ball on the 36 of Broken Bow. First and 10, Savages. 11.45 left, second quarter. Shomo out. One back formation. He takes the snap. He pitches to King outside. King's up the field. Going to be hit hard on the outside. He's going to gain a couple yards, but nice tackle there on, for the Diamonds. Looks like Randy Tonchi, number 23, and number 7, Jordans. Simon's on to make the tackle for the Diamonds. Good call there. Thank you. Looks like we got a hurt Diamond limping off the field. Looks like it's big number 59. That's Ryan Hooper. Looks like he's going to be all right, but he may... Uh, Made a little, little ankle twist or something. We got Jim Turner down there looking at it, though. The Doc Turner will get him fixed up and get him back out there in no time. Option for the for the Broken Bow Savages. He don't get much of anywhere, not much of an option right there. The only option he really had was to get taken down in the backfield, and he did. Nice tackle there by, I think, Simons was in on the tackle, and maybe uh, Matt Richardson also. Good job, guys. It's going to bring up third and seven for the Savages. Shomo out. He's under center. Eye formation for the Savages. He takes the snap. He turns. He looks to pass. He's going to scramble away. He's got the ball away. Downfield's going to be batted down by number 23, Randy Tonchi. Back in coverage. Good job, Randy, again. 
he's having a good game tonight. He's, having, all, he's all over the field tonight. Having a great game. He was back 20 yards downfield, batting the ball away. That's going to bring up fourth and seven, and the Savage punter is on the, on the field. So you know what that means? It means they're going to punt. That's a, that's a good observation right there. Larry. Thank you. I don't know if Bailey could have observed that. You're not comparing me to him, are you? No. Okay. Looks like Drew Warner on the punt for the Savages. Low snap, but he grabs it and he kicks it downfield. Not a very good kick. It's going to be short. It's going to bounce at about the 34. It's going to take a diamond bounce where it's down at about the 33 by the Savages. 10-10 left, second quarter. Diamonds 14, Savages 7. Hello, I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. More and more of our patron families want to know about cremation because it is less expensive and can still have all the features of a traditional funeral service. But security and protection are very important. That's why we at Mallory Martin built our own on-site crematory. We own it, we operate it. And that means at Mallory Martin Funeral Home, your loved one never leaves our care. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for nearly a century. Bill Pot to the outside, he breaks a tackle, he's in the 50, the 40. He's gonna be hit and tripped up at about the 35, but we have a flag on the play. Look like a hold. In the, look, look like the flag's in the territory of holding. It did look like a hold. Hmm. We've got some vocal fans tonight. And some local fans too. <laughs> there you go. They're right here on us. They're all over us. We're like celebrities or something. Nah, don't don't go that far. I was walking up here and they were shouting my name. Did you hear them down there? Uh, I didn't really hear that. Thanks, buddy. Making me look really good on the air. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I'd like to say hello to a fan of ours out there, Joy Van. I hear she has a big watch party on Friday nights. I hope hope they don't get too rowdy and get the police out there or anything. We don't want to have to have any trouble. Yeah. I know they enjoy our broadcast and we enjoy them listening to us. Offset eye formation for the Diamonds. Bartell in her center. Simon's in motion. He turns. He gives the fill pot. And he's going to be hit in the backfield and brought down. Nice pursuit there by the Savages. Looks like number 53, Michael Noah on the tackle for the Savages. This game is being brought to you by Blue Ribbon Auto Group. Chevrolet Pontiac GMC Buick Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Salisaw will beat any advertised price guaranteed. Call us or come see us just south of I-40 on Highway 59. Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low-priced low cars. cars. That's a catchy little slogan. Like it. One back set for the Diamonds, three receivers. Bartell in her center. Takes the snap. He fakes the field pot. He's going to roll left. He's hit. He gets it outside. It's complete to Branham. He's hit and tripped up at about the 41. Make that 31. Make that 31. Thanks, Clint. You're always what? there for me, buddy. Always, with that good eye. Kind of in a little tight spot up here. It has. It's rather hot up here. It's not really a tight spot, but it's kind of a hot spot. It's kind of like being in a prison cell almost. Yes, it does remind me of a, well, I wouldn't really know what a prison cell is like. I don't know why you keep bringing stuff Well, if it did, you would call Scopus Law Office, though, to help you with all of those legal needs. Yes, I would. 8.25 left, second quarter. Third and 13 for the Black Diamonds. Looks like we're going to have a timeout here for the Diamonds. Timeout, Salisaw, 8.16 left, second quarter, Diamonds 14, Savages 7. Hey, Bob Beams again for Blue Ribbon Salisaw. Home with it. Where are the cars? Where are the cars? Come on, guys. There's no point in me standing out here talking about being the home of the low price. I know you guys are around here somewhere, and when I find you, I'm really going to let you have a piece of my ever-loving mind. Aha, uh -huh. I see skid marks. Hey, if you want to catch a great deal, on a fine new automobile, come to us today. You guys better hope I don't catch up with you. Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low price cars. I'm too old for this. We're back. We're back. Bartell. He's back in the pass. He throws a screen, short screen to Philpot. He breaks a tackle. He's across the 30. He's going to be brought down at about the 34. Let's call it maybe the 35. 
It's not going to be a first down for the Diamond. It's going to be a pickup of about, I'd give him about 10 on the play. So a nice little screen pass. So. I like getting, I like him getting Philpott involved in the uh, passing game too. I think, it, you know, you see a lot of college teams getting their backs involved in the passing game. Is you know, it's really it helps them out a bunch. Diamonds are really opening up their offense tonight. Let's get him 10 that, yards on the play and spring up fourth and nine for the Diamonds. And Leffler is on the kick. Nice kick for Leffler, high kick. It's going to be taken at about the 39, and he's not going to get much on the play. Good job by the Diamonds coverage team. David number Hadley. One, number one, David Hadley down the field. Good job, David. Like number 20, Blake Ray was down the field really quick too, Clint. I think Coach Terry's been holding back a little bit on his offense. He's really opened it up tonight as we're going into district play. we got a lot of fans walking down in front of us down here. It's a, rowdy, it's a rowdy bunch out here tonight. We may need to get one of them to bring us a cold beverage up here. I'm about ready for a cold beverage. I am too. I was ready in the first quarter. First down, Savages, 707 left, second quarter. Ball on the 40 of Broken Bow. Shomo turns, screen pass outside the receiver. He's hit. He's going to gain about, let's give him three or four yards on the play. I think I'm going to give him about four. It's number seven. Albert Wright on the reception for the Savages. Actually, they may call that a they call, may they call that a rush since I, he looked like he passed it behind him. Could be a rush. I couldn't really tell from where we're at. We don't have our stat guy here tonight, so it's really hard to tell. Josh, hope you're having a good time back in Southall. Someone's trying to call my phone. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm not gonna answer it. Turn. The give Ooh. outside. That's King. He's loose. He's to the 20, the 15. He's going to be, no, he's not tripped up. It's going to be touchdown Savages. He's fast. He got outside, and there he went. we got a ball game on our hands. So that makes the score Diamonds 14, Savages 13. No, it was a 918 area code. So actually, it wasn't. There's really no telling who might be calling you. No. I'm a celebrity, though, I guess. <laughs> Not as big as you, though. Yeah. Savages. Extra points up and good for the Savages. You got a tie game. So that makes the score Diamonds 14, Savages 14, 6 16 left, second quarter. Folks, if you haven't been down to Perry's office supply, well, then you need to get down there. He's been serving Sequoia County since 1978 with everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. He has it all from paper clips to computer supplies, even office furniture. He even has Stephen Jumper. You can even send and receive faxes at Perry's. Come see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak in Salisaw. You call, that's all, he'll haul. You know, that's the only place you can see Stephen Jumper is down at Perry's office supply. I'm sure you can see him at his residence, too. Yeah, but I really don't know if you want to go there. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You might want to might want to veer away from there. Another one of our sponsors is Agent Funeral Home, because in difficult times, it's comforting to know that you can rely on Agent Funeral Home and their 68 years of experience to help you and your family. Agent Funeral Home, personal service with distinction. It's a Rome call. I'm getting another Rome call. I can't answer a Rome call. That's right. I think it's our, our one of our favorite fans, Justin Smithson, though. If it's you, Justin. It could very well if be. If it's you, Justin, uh, thanks for calling, man. I know you're enjoying the game. So thanks for calling. It's like, like a good kick for the Savages, taken by Jake C. He runs left. He's up to the 20. Nice hole there. Up to the 30. Ooh. Oh, one, he had about one tackle to break, and he had a – Looks like a flag in on the play. He had a nice carry. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a hold or a uh, block in the back, I would say, on the return. Let's call it a holding, Clint, against the Diamonds. It is going to move the ball back. I wonder if these officials aren't wearing black and gold tonight. Well, I don't see any outer garments that are black and gold. <laughs> well, we'll just leave that alone. I won't comment on, it, on anything else. 6.06, second quarter. Diamonds 14, Savages 14. 
Brad Cameron and Clint Smith here live from Memorial Stadium in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. We made the journey over the mountains and through the woods safely, I might add. Yeah. I think that's all due to my excellent driving abilities. Sorry about your truck, Danny, when, when you get it back. Clint oh. did drive, though, down here, so. He can explain everything. First down for the Diamonds. Stay ball on the 14 yard line. Bartell under center. Offset eye formation for the Diamonds. Simon's in motion. Snap, return. Bill Potts hitting the backfield and tripped up by big number 62 for the Savages. That's, that's Coley Hart on the tackle for the Savages. No, not Coley. Yeah, unfortunately, Coley, Coley Harp on the tackle. You don't see Phil Pot tripped up in the backfield like that very often. No, that's a good pursuit there by the Savages. Must have missed the block somewhere. Looks like you're getting a call now. Clint. It may be somebody trying to answer a trivia question. It may be. It's going to bring up a second and 12 for the, uh, for the Savages. I mean, for the Diamonds, I'm sorry. Preoccupied by Clint's phone call. I don't know about your mic, really. I think it's slacking. Uh, there we go. Timeout Diamonds. See that little button that says mute? It helps yeah. when you push that. Well, yes it does. Timeout Diamonds, 523 left, second quarter. Diamonds 14, Savage is 14. We recognize another one of, another one of our sponsors. Be Salisaw Lumber because every little detail counts. You can count on Salisaw Lumber for quality building materials, including Valspar products and Anderson windows. Good results begin with a solid foundation, and that requires the right materials for the job. That's why pros and do-it-yourselfers trust Salisaw Lumber for selection and service. You can just go down there and see, see all the guys down there. Get let Mike mix you up some paint. See old Dave. Old yeah. Dave will help you out. He will. I don't really think there's anybody can mix paint quite like Mike. Could be right. He can match any color. Another one of our sponsors is Valley Land and Title Company. They're located at 100 North Oak in Salisaw, and you can find them on the web at valleyland.net. They're ready to handle all of your real estate needs with abstracting, title insurance, and escrow service. Valley Land and Title, because it really does matter where you close. All right, fans, Diamond's back on the field. 523 left, first half. We've got a tie ball game here from Memorial Stadium. Bartell under center, eye formation. He takes the snap. He turns. He fakes the field part. He's going to throw downfield. He throws deep. It's overthrown. He's looking for big number 82, Stephen Branham, but it looks like it's going to fall incomplete, overthrown. So that will bring up a third down situation for the Diamonds. Clint, you want to go over that trivia question one more time for the fans? I will. If you can name the Broken Bow alumni – who went on to play his college ball at Oklahoma State University and played NFL football for the Cleveland Browns years 62 through 68. If you can name that player, you win the free hour-long massage. I think someone can, really. Oh, I know they can. And as soon as we get at halftime, I'm going to look for a wireless signal and see if anyone's... There you go. See if anyone's uh, sent that email yet. He'll pot up the middle. Good carry. He's up across the uh, 15 gain of about five or six for Phil Pot before he's brought down. It's still going to bring up a fourth down. Looks like they're going to spot it at about the 17-yard line. Gain of five officially for Phil Pot. That will bring up fourth and seven for the Diamonds. Philip Leffler on the kick for the Diamonds. The snap, good snap, good kick by Leffler. He takes the kick at about the 49 of the Diamonds. He runs left and he's pushed out of bounds at about the 39. Number 81 on the return for the Savages. That's Albert Rivet Rivera, return for the Savages. Well, that defense is going to have to step up now because we gave him a short field on this one, so the defense is going to have to really step up, maybe try to get a turnover. We'll see what we can do here, Clint. 4.30 left, first half. Diamonds 14, Savages 14. Ball spotted on the 39 of the Diamonds. Looks 
Looks like I got another. Looks like I got a voicemail. I think they're trying to call my phone to answer the trivia question. Shomo under center, the turn, the pitch outside the King. He's around the right side. He looks for a hole. He can't really find one. He's gonna. He might gain a couple of yards on the play, but tackled by the Diamonds. That's a good play by the defense to keep containment on that, and make him have to cut it back up into the middle of the field. Looks like number 51, Clint Agent on the tackle for the Diamonds. Let's give him two yards on the carry. It's going to bring up second and eight, second and seven officially by the clock keeper, which is iffy. Shomo with the give outside to King. He's around the right side again. He spins up the field. He breaks tackles. Ooh, nice saving tackle by a diamond defender there in the secondary. Looks like David Hadley, number one, saved a touchdown right there. Luckily, Hadley was there on the tackle because... King was gone. That King boy's got some speed. He's Once fast. he breaks through that initial line, he's he, there's not many people can catch him. He is fast. I've seen him with a few good spin moves tonight as well. He's he's got some quick feet. Going to bring up first and ten for the Savages. Ball on the diamond 19. Shomo out in the eye formation. Takes the snap. Give to the big fullback up the middle, and he's rumbling, bumbling Ooh. up there, and he's nice carry by the big fullback, number 20, Jake Ellison, 6'1", 225. Just, he's a tough, he's a tough tackle. I was really hoping he'd do some fumbling. Yeah, we got the rumbling, bumbling, but not the fumbling. Yeah. He did a little stumbling there, but <laughs> just you can't have everything though. At least there wasn't no crumbling going on. <laughs> Shomo under center, eye formation. Ellison and King in the backfield. The turn to give the King right. He's up the middle. Nice Good hit there play. by number 58, Clay Agent. Nice tackle, Clay. Make him think about going through that hole again, maybe. That was big Jordan Simons getting up off the bottom of that pile, too. There he is. There's Clay. going to bring up second and nine for the Savages. The clock keeper here is really not very good, Clint. Shomo takes the, takes the hand off. He keeps the football. He's down inside the five. Spins. He's going to get all the yards he can. He got a pretty good gain there by Shomo for the Diamonds could trip him up. He's a crafty kind of runner. He, uh, he finds holes wherever he can find them, and he's good at hitting them and getting through there. Yes, he is. He takes what the defense gives him. Call a gain of about four on the play for uh, Shomo. Maybe five. Ball on the four. Second down and goal. Nice tackle there on the diamond. Touchdown, broken bowl. Looks like he's going to have touchdown Savages. Good tackle there by the Diamonds, but eh, there's a little bit too much yardage there. For so, Savages come right down the field and score quick. Well, maybe we can get another quick strike. Tie this one up before we go into the locker room for halftime. I think we need it. We had a timeout on the field by Broken Bow. Let's we'll see what they're going to do here. They got two timeouts left. Well, according to the clock, but I don't really, not going to say that that's accurate. Yeah. If I was a betting man, I'd say it wasn't. I'd say not much of anything up there is really accurate. No. Just the score. Well, it's really not accurate either. Because I don't see them kick the extra point yet, and they've already got 21 up there. Oh, there we go. That's better. They're looking ahead. Well, actually, they're behind. I don't know what they got now. Looks like we're going to have a timeout broken bow. Picture a world where vacations become a reality, grocery bills go down, meals cost less. Now picture yourself walking into First National Bank and opening a Generations Gold checking account. Offering travel discounts, prescription discounts, free checks, and tons of other benefits, Generations Gold is a checking account like no other, partnering with over 200 local businesses, offering local discounts all around our community. And it's only available from a bank like no other, First National Bank Salisaw, member FDIC. 
game's also brought to you tonight by Diamond Net, your hometown high-speed connection to the world. Offering digital cable, telephone service, and the fastest internet access in town. All right, fans, it looks like it wasn't a broken bow touchdown. It's called back. It must have been a penalty on the play. The uh, refs are discussing something out on the field. I really don't know what's going on. From up here, we're really not sure what it is, but they've got third down marked. We'd really like to know. It's going to bring up third and four for the Savages, it looks like. Looks like from the one, third and... Third and maybe two. I don't know. Looks like it's the right clock, there on the goal line. The clock keeper really doesn't know what he's doing, I don't think. Broken ball football. Shomo under center. Eye formation. The turn to give to right. Looks like he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Savages. What was that deal all about? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm kind of confused on that one, but I get confused very often, so it really that doesn't say anything. It's going to be touchdown savages. Drew Prater on the kick for the savages. The snap, the kick's up for Prater, and it's good. So that score, Broken Bow 21, Saw Saw Black Diamonds 14, 128 left, first half. The Scofus Law Office is a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond football. Serving Sequoia County in eastern Oklahoma since 1971, the Scofus Law Office has a strong tradition in law, just as the Black Diamonds have a strong tradition on the gridiron. Located at the corner of Creek and Elm Streets in Salisaw, the attorneys at the Scofus Law Offices are here to help you with all of your legal needs. To make an appointment, give them a call at 775-5546 or toll free at 888-775-5546. Tonight's game is produced by the Sequoia County Times. If you would like a DVD of the game for $15, contact the Sequoia County Times or email football at sequcotimes.com. Sequoia County Times, your local news and sports leader. We'd like to thank Jeff and his crew down there for helping us put these broadcasts together. As well as our old pal Dylan Jasna. He does an outstanding job with all of our video and audio boards here. Sure you really want to thank him? I don't think I could do his job. Good job, Dylan. You're doing an excellent job, man. Broke a bow on the kick. Looks like it's Prater on the kick. Kick. It's going to be taken by number two, Hunt, Trey Hunt. That's, That's going to be right side. That's number one, David Hadley. David Hadley. He's going to be hit and stopped down at about the 15 yard line. Special teams for the Savages tonight are really fast. They get down the field really quick and do their job. Of course, we knew they was going to be fast, but. They, their Diamond, whole team is fast. Diamond field position, though, has been uh, – Diamonds had not had much – very good field position at all tonight. No, we really need to throw throw together one of those quick strikes, get this one tied up before we go in for the half. What are you saying? They ought to give it to Bubba? I don't know. Bartell hasn't been doing too bad with the throwing arm tonight either. First down, Diamonds. Ball on the 15. 121 left first half. Bartell under center. I formation. Underwood and Philpot in the backfield. He takes the snap. He gives it to Philpot. He's hit. And he may get a yard on the play. You know, Broken Boats put together a pretty good defensive scheme tonight. Yeah, Other than they, that one long run, they've held Philpot in check for the most part. They are looking for the run. Brought down by Micah Duckett for the Broken Bow Savages. So a gain of one on the play for Philpot. Clock's still running. Of course it is. Offset eye formation for Bartell and the Diamonds. He turns. It's going to be a fumble on the play. Oh. Looks like Broken Bow's going to jump on it. Looks like Bartell fumbled. Second like Savage has got on the football. It's going to be first down, Broken Bow. That's really, not really good. Not inside That's, the 20. It's not good on the 16-yard line. Not at all. Not the way we want to go in. It's like number 82, Stephen Whitmore on the recovery for the Savages. So it's going to be first and 10. Savages with 37 seconds left here in the second quarter. Ball on the 17 officially. We need to stop here, Clint. 
Yeah, this defense really needs to step up here. Shomo under center, eye formation. King, the tailback, the turn, the fake pitch. He's going to throw the football. He throws it high. It's going to be caught by the Savages. Touchdown. He got right in front of C on that one. Number 24, Jake Gregory. On the reception for the Savages. That was a hard one to defend. He got right in front of the defender and quarterback just lobbed it up and let the receiver go up and get it. Those are those are really hard to he's defend. A, he's a pretty tall receiver though. He's six foot, 165 pounds. He's got to see he's 5'9". That's true. Prater on the kick for the Savages. Snap, kicks up, and it's good. So with that score, now the Savages, 28. Salisaw Black Diamonds, 14. 30 seconds left here in the first half. Here in Sequoia County, you'll find shelter insurance agent George Glenn. He's proud to serve this community and his customers for the past 35 years. Give George a call and ask him about all of shelter's services. This broadcast is also being brought to you tonight by Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory offering the Salisaw community the widest range of latest choices and options for your family. As well as the Blue Ribbon Auto Group, offering Chevrolet, Pontiac, GMC, Buick, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep in Salisaw, will beat any advertised price guaranteed. Just go out and see old Terry Wilson and Barry Poole and the guys out there and they'll, they'll fix you up with a good deal. They'll get you a set of wheels. That's right. Prater on to kick for the Savages. No turnovers here for the Diamonds, please. It's like Jake C. David Hadley back to return for the Diamonds. Kick by Prater. It's going to be taken by C. Back inside the 10. He fumbles the football. He picks it up and runs right. He's, in, he's going to be hit down about the 10-yard line. Another nice pursuit by think, the Savages. I think Bartell will just take a knee on this one and try to run this clock out maybe. Savages do have two half. timeouts, though. They do, according to the scoreboard anyway. According to the scoreboard, I yes. haven't really been keeping track of them. I don't know if they have either. <laughs> See big 75, Dustin Bush down there cheering on his team. There. Yeah, I know the team's really been cheering him on too to recover from from his injuries. First and ten, Diamonds. Twenty-two seconds left. First half. Ah, formation for the Diamonds. Double tight end set. He takes the snap. He gives it to Underwood. Gain of about three for Underwood before he's brought down by several Savages. It looks like Broken Bow's just going to be content to let the clock run out, not take their timeout. So it looks like that will be the last snap of the half. So at halftime here from Memorial Stadium, Broken Bow, Oklahoma, Broken Bow Savages 28, Southside Black Diamonds 14. Bob's not here right now, but if he was, I'm sure he'd be reminding you. Hello, I seem to have locked myself in my dressing room. That if you're in the market for a new or used car, truck, van, or SUV. A little help here. And you want the lowest possible price in that vehicle. Well, that's, oh, that's better. You need to come see us here at the home of the low price cars. That was the darndest thing. All right, uh, three, two, one. Hey! Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low price cars.
drum majors, is your band ready? Please welcome the pride of Salisaw, the Salisaw High School Black Diamond Marching Band.
Silver Ford Taurus 115 MTD. We need your vehicle moved. Dr. Freeman is needed at the hospital. We need you to move your vehicle. It's a Silver Ford Taurus 115 MTD. I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. More and more of our patron families want to know about cremation because it is less expensive and can still have all the features of a traditional funeral service. But security and protection are very important. That's why we at Mallory Martin built our own on-site crematory. We own it, we operate it. And that means at Mallory Martin Funeral Home, your loved one never leaves our care. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for nearly a century. How do you turn this thing off? Hello, I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. Did you know you can prearrange a funeral even if you're planning cremation? In fact, one of the most thoughtful things a person can do for their loved ones is to make their funeral arrangements before they're needed. We help families with a full range of prearrangement options to make sure your wishes are carried out exactly as you want and remove that burden from your family. 
Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for nearly a century. Hey, Bob Beams again for Blue Ribbon Salazar. Home with it. Where are the cars? Where are the cars? Oh, come on, guys. There's no point in me standing out here talking about being in the home with a low price. I know you guys are around here somewhere, and when I find you, I'm really going to let you have a piece of my ever loving mind. Aha, uh -huh. I see skid marks. Hey, if you want to catch a great deal, I want to find you one of wheel. Come to us today. You guys better hope I don't catch up with you. Blue Ribbon Salazar, home of the low price cars. I'm too old for this. Hello, I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. You know, Mallory Martin is the only funeral home in this area with an on-site crematory. We own it and we operate it. That means you can be sure with us, security is a top concern. At Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, your loved one never leaves our care. If you have any questions about the alternatives with cremation, please give me a call. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for nearly a century. Bob Famous here for Blue Ribbon Salazar. Home with the low price cars rail. Hey, Bob. I just wanted to let you know that you're doing a really fantastic job. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. So anyway, as I was saying... When it comes to TV announcing, you're the top. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. You're like I was... Ooh, man, Bob. All right, all right. What's going on here? Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. 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 Blue Ribbon Salazar. Home of the low price cars. Bob. Oh, there's some nice fellas there. Bob. <laughs> Hello, I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. Did you know you can prearrange a funeral even if you're planning cremation? In fact, one of the most thoughtful things a person can do for their loved ones is to make their funeral arrangements before they're needed. We help families with a full range of prearrangement options to make sure your wishes are carried out exactly as you want and remove that burden from your family. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for nearly a century. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. Did you know you can prearrange a funeral even if you're planning cremation? In fact, one of the most thoughtful things a person can do for their loved ones is to make their funeral arrangements before they're needed. We help families with a full range of prearrangement options to make sure your wishes are carried out exactly as you want and remove that burden from your family. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for nearly a century. Let's try it again, this time with a whole lot more energy and excitement. Well, okay. Hey, this here's Bob Famous again for Blue Ribbon Salazar, home of the low price cars, where we're so excited we are literally leaping and leaping for joy. Ow, ow, cold muscle, cold muscle. Uh, uh, cold, I pulled something here. Uh, uh, cold muscle. So come in and see us today before old Bob really hurts himself. Blue Ribbon Salazar, home of the low price cars. Well, is that enough excitement for you? Hello, I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. Did you know you can prearrange a funeral even if you're planning cremation? In fact, one of the most thoughtful things a person can do for their loved ones is to make their funeral arrangements before they're needed. We help families with a full range of prearrangement options to make sure your wishes are carried out exactly as you want and remove that burden from your family. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for nearly a century. Oh, 
trucks, vans, and SUVs. Here we've got an incredible selection and a friendly, knowledgeable staff. Come on, TV! But ultimately, our bottom line. Love, love. Our bottom line is your, is, is your bottom line. That's why we call ourselves the home of the low price cars. Yeah, that and the fact that the house of Bob doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> Blue ribbon sell us all. Home of the low price cars. Nice suit, Bob. Thanks, guys. Hello, I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. You know, Mallory Martin is the only funeral home in this area with an on-site crematory. We own it and we operate it. That means you can be sure with us, security is a top concern. At Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, your loved one never leaves our care. If you have any questions about the alternatives with cremation, please give me a call. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for nearly a century. Anybody hear me out there? Hey, Bob's not here right now, but if he was, I'm sure he'd be reminding you. Hello, I seem to have locked myself in my dressing room. And if you're in the market for a new or used car, truck, van, or SUV... A little help here. ...and you want the lowest possible price in that vehicle... Well, that's, oh, that's better. ...you need to come see us here at the home of the low-priced cars. That was the darndest thing. All right, uh, three, two, one. Hey! Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low-priced cars. Well, what do you mean the commercial's already over? Welcome back, fans. Clint, you there? Uh, I don't think you can hear me. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. All right. Welcome back, fans. We'd like to run through our run through our sponsors one more time. We have Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Blue Ribbon Auto Group, Perry's Office Supply. Salisaw Lumber, Valley Lane and Title Company, Agent Funeral Home, First National Bank Salisaw, Scofus Law Office, Diamond Net, not Diamond Net, oh yes, Diamond Net, Sequoia County Times, and Shelter Insurance. Thanks to all of you guys for your support in helping us to put these games on the air. Clint, I figured out who was calling me a while ago. Who was that? It was Ron Lockhart, city commissioner. All right, is he enjoying our broadcast? I think he's enjoying our broadcast. Ron, I want to send a shout out to you, man. Thanks for calling in to us. Hope you like it tonight. So go Diamonds. Maybe we can come back and get in the game here. And me and Clint's trying to work up some mojo up here so we can get... Get, get back in the football game. We're going we're gonna to do a little something. I don't, I don't know what. Yeah, we've got to come up with something. Because these nachos really aren't working right. All right, fans. Looks like the Broken Bow Band is still on the field. Clint, you want to do play-by-play -play of the Broken Bow Band? I just really don't know where to start. I wasn't... To be honest with you, I was enjoying some of those nachos. I wasn't really paying attention. Normally, fans, we'd go to our stats at this time, but since our stat guy couldn't make the trip, we don't really have many stats to give you. We would like to wish him good luck tonight, though, to whatever ventures he's up to. <laughs> there ain't no telling what kind of ventures he's up to. <laughs> I just hope we don't have to call Scofus Law Office for him. It's a possibility. No, he's a good guy. I'd like to send a shout out to my wife and my son at home, Gary and Brody. I love y'all and I miss y'all. Wish y'all were here. Although you probably wouldn't be having a very good time because it's like 115 degrees in this uh, rock box that we're in here. It is a little warm. I've got to drink Powerade here just to keep my fluids and minerals and stuff, you know, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling kind of weak myself. Well, fans, let's run that. Trivia question by you one more time. You can email your your answer to feedback at diamondnet.us. If you can name the player who played his high school ball at Broken Bow, played his college ball at OSU, 
and then went on to play for the Cleveland Browns from 62 to 68. If you'll email your correct answer to feedback at diamondnet.us, we'll take the first correct answer, and they will win the free hour-long massage from New Image Day Spa. The unofficial massage place of Diamond Net Broadcasting. That's right. We'd also like to thank Charlie's Chicken, the official snack food of the Diamond Net Broadcast team. Those chicken chunks really pulled hip, pull us through on that long road trip down here. Yeah. I don't know if we would have made it without them, really. Uh, we'd have to make a we'd have had to make a quick stop around, probably. It's hard to eat those things while you're driving, though. It's really not good driving those windy mountain roads while your hands are got greasy. Maybe McDonald's will hook us up with some food next week. You think we can get some McDonald's next week? Uh, we, we would certainly enjoy it. I'm all about some quarter pounders, really. Yeah, we're on the air. Jane, we're on the air. Anyway, we're getting ready for the second half here. Diamonds 14, Savages 28. Clint, what do we got to do here to get back in the ball game? I think we're going to have definitely cut down on the turnovers. And we really need to put some long drives together and kind of chew up some of this clock and let this offensive line try to gain control of this game. I think one key is putting a stop to uh, Mr. King, their, uh, their running right. back. He's up. Uh, Kind of ran all over us. We're gonna have to get a. We're gonna have to put a helmet on him and really show him. You know. Yeah. He needs a big hit put on him. Kind of slow him down. So far, the Broken Bow defense has been fairly successful at stopping Philpot. Other than that one long run, they've more or less held him in check for the remainder of the first half. Just so a just half. Need that offense to really get a good push off the line and. Let him, let him take control of this. Next week, fans, we'll be back home in the comfort of our own press box, if you can call it comfort. It's a press box anyway. For the homecoming between the uh, Diamonds That's right. and the... Uh, That's right. I'm sure we'll go on the air a little early next week to bring you all the homecoming festivities. Yes, we will. And we're going to try to get in that homecoming parade. We're going to do what we can to get it. You may see Clint, Dylan, and Brad in the homecoming parade. I'll bet we can, I'll bet we can pull a few strings and get that worked out. I think out. we can. I really think we can. Prater on to kick for the Savages. We're ready to start the second half of play. And the kick is off. It's a low line drive kick. It's going to bounce and take him by Hadley at about the 11. He runs left. Savage has got a lot of speed. Hadley's around the corner. Nice return for Hadley. That's a pray there's not a flag on the play. He's run out of bounds, but he's going to be up close to the 30-yard line. I don't see any flags. That's a good field position to walk compared we had on our last three That's possessions right. of the first half. Nachos are good. Are they all right? I don't know about the lack of peppers, though. Yeah, we could use some peppers. I think it was a poor pepper crop in McCurtain County this year. Diamonds come out on offense. Bartell under center. Eye formation for the Diamonds. Two receivers split out right. The turn. To give to Philpott, he stumbles. He's still around the end, breaks a tackle, and he's brought down. Pick up about two or three there for Philpott. I'll be anxious to see if they add as many passing plays here in the second half if they let Bartell drop back and throw the ball like they did in the first half, or if they're just going to stick to that run and try to regain control. Yeah, I'm really curious. Curious guy. Second and eight. Pick up a two on that last play for Philpot. Offset eye formation. Bartell under center. Double tight end set. Turns. He gives a Philpot. He bounces around the outside. He's tripped up. Close to the first down marker. Going to be real close to the first down. Pick up of about seven or eight on the play. We're going to call it eight and a first down. Salasaw. Run by Philpot getting to the outside right there, Clint. Pick up a first down for us. It was. He showed some speed. Again, fans, if you know the answer to that trivia question, give us a, give us an email at feedback at diamondnet.us, or if you have any thing to say to us, just send us some feedback. Phil Pot to the outside. He carries a kid down the football field with him. Kid jumped on his back, and he said, "All right, let's go." He was giving piggyback rides. Pick up about six or seven for Philpot on the play. Nice run. I don't think that kid will find a better ride than that at the fair. Yeah. 
I'm curious about that also. <laughs> you know what they say about curiosity. Second and three for the Diamonds. The turn, to give up the middle to Underwood. He spins, he breaks the tackle. He's across the 50, first down, Salasaw. Nice run for Underwood right there. It's moving them chains, Clint. That's exactly what we were just talking about. No, it wasn't. Actually, it was. About putting a good drive together. Ball on the broken bow, 49, first and 10. 10 minutes left third quarter the turn the give to Underwood again he's across the 45 another good run for Underwood let's give him five let's give him about six on the play so two two fullback gives up the middle for Salasaw moves him down into broken bow territory it's gonna bring a second down get let's give him five yards on the play five yard carry for Underwood Offset eye formation for Salasaw. Philpott in the backfield. Bartell under center. He turns. He pitches outside of Philpott. He looks for a hole. Nice block by Underwood. And Philpott's down to all, close to the 40-yard line. It's going to be close to another Salasaw first down. It's caught him about two yards short, maybe. Pick up a three for Philpott. Good block by Underwood right there. Yeah, he was, he was laying him down. A jarring block. Ball on the broken bowl, 41, third and one officially for the Diamonds. Underwood and Philpott in the backfield. Two receivers split out the turn. They give to Philpott. He breaks a tackle. He's rumbling. He's loose. He's to the 30, the 20, the 10, 5, touchdown Diamonds. Brother Philpott on the carry right there. 41-yard gain, 41-yard touchdown run for Salasaw. We needed it. We got it. We did. Busted two tackles. I think he flattened the kid back here at about the 39. He got the wheels turning. Carlos Nieto on the kick for the Diamonds. The snap's high. Snaps. Holds down and the kick is up and good for Nieto. Diamonds 21, Savages 28, 8.36 left, third quarter. Perry's Office Supply has been serving Sequoia County since 1978. We have everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. We've got it all from paper clips to computer supplies to office furniture. You can even send and receive faxes at Perry's. Just go see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak in Salisaw. You call, that's all. He'll haul. Another one of our sponsors is Salisaw Lumber. Because every little detail counts, you can count on Salisaw Lumber for quality building materials, including Valspar products and Anderson windows. Good results begin with a solid foundation, that, and that requires the right materials for the job. That's why pros and do-it-yourselfers trust Salisaw Lumber for selection and service. Thanks, Clint. The H.O. on the kick for the Diamonds. Let's see if the defense can come out and put a stop on for us right here, Clint. What do you think? I certainly hope so. I think Coach Terry must have had a pretty good pep talk at halftime. They came out fired up. And he ate with a kick. Real quiet, wasn't it? High kick. Left side of the field. Taken down at about the 12. Broken bow, a nice hole for the returner. He's loose. He's up across the 40 where he's brought down by number 24, Kyle Underwood. Nice tackle, he only about one got a beat, and he would have been gone. Looks like number three, DJ Butler, on the return for the Savages. In difficult times, it's comforting to know that you can rely on Agent Funeral Home and their 68 years of experience to help you and your family. That's Agent Funeral Home, personal service with distinction. Eight twenty-eight left, third quarter. Savages ball on the Savage forty-four. Savages twenty-eight, Diamonds twenty-one. High formation. Shomo under center. The turn to give the King to the right side. He finds a hole. He's stuffed up inside the hole, but he picks up about four, maybe pick up about five on the play for King. 
that's been there mostly all night for them. Yeah, that option's a. They must have a big. They must have a big uh, blocker over there on that right side of the line. I don't know. They've sure been getting a big push. Yeah. Second and five for a broken bow. Ball on the fifty. Some fired up diamond fans. Shomo under center eye formation. The turn, the keeper to the outside. Looks like an option play. It's going to be a first down broken bow. Shomo on the keeper. He's up to about the 43 where he's brought down. By number 51, Clint Agent. It's going to be first and 10 for the Savages. That right side again, Clint. Running to that right side. There's something that they like over there. Shomo comes out. He's under center. Eye formation for the Savages. Shomo takes the snap. He turns. He gives it to King. He runs to the left side this time. Another good pickup for King where he's brought down by number 20, Blake Ray. Number 82, Stephen Branham also in there on the tackle for the Diamonds. Well, they're just chewing up this clock. And the yards. Let's give him about five, maybe six yards. Let's give him five yards on that carry. Shomo under center. Eye formation for the Savages. Shomo takes the snap. It's going to be another option play. He's going to keep it. He's going to be hit. He really had nowhere to go on that one. Nice place to go. Nice pursuit there by the Diamonds. Number 58. Clay Agent on the tackle in there on the tackle. Look like a couple other Diamonds in there like also. Matt Richardson in there on that one. He just, he really didn't have any options on that one. It's good to have options, but he, he ran out. Eye formation, third and four for the Savages. Shomo takes a snap. It's going to be another option. Quarterback keeps it. He's going to have, going to be close to the first down. Ball looks like it came loose. Diamonds jump on it, but it looks like it's going to be caused by the ground. So it's going to officially be down. That's going to be a first down broken bow. We needed to stop right there. Shomo quarterback, he's, 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 he's a pretty good runner. He is. He's not a bad passer either. It will be a first down for the Savages. First and 10. Ball on the 33 of Broken of Salisaw. 5.49 left. Shomo takes, he fakes the, fakes the snap. It's booted up by the Diamonds. Almost intercepted, but incomplete. Blake Ray was there. I don't know who booted. I think that was Big Stephen Branham. May have been Big Stephen Branham on the tip. Blake Ray dove for the football, but couldn't come up with it. Almost an interception there. That would have been huge. Oh, yes. It's going to bring up second down for the Savages. Ball still on the 33. Again, we'd like to thank Charlie's Chicken for the uh, pregame meal. The, I guess you'd call it the uh, on the way meal. It made for a good road trip. Shomo takes a snap. He runs right. Quarterback keeper follows that guard, that right guard. He's up the field. He gains three yards, maybe four. Right guard, huh? Well, yeah. I like right guard. It keeps me smelling fresh all day long. Are you sure? Well, uh, as long as I think so, that's really all that matters. <laughs> well, that's Mike when we get back to the there when, you we get, go. when we get back to the head end. It's a game of three officially for Shomo. He's gonna bring up third and seven ball on the twenty-nine. Our formation, double tight end set. Turn to give the king up the middle. He's hit. He's going to be brought down. Nice play by the Diamonds. Not much room there to run. Number 82, Stephen Branham in there on the tackle. Good job. Way to clog that hole. He did. He drove him back about five yards on that play. Good job for Stephen right there. Stephen Branham clogging that hole for the Diamonds. It's going to bring up third. Well, it's going to say it's going to bring up fourth and five by the scorekeeper. I kind of think he's wrong. 
but we'll see. Fourth and five for the Savages. High formation. The turn, the fake. Diamonds hit him in the backfield. He's going to be, he's loose. He gets the pass off. He's got a man downfield. It's going to be completed and a touchdown broken bowl. Nice catch on the play. They kind of floated the ball up there and broken bowl guy was out there. Number 88. It's number 88 again. And then that's Kyle Beam, the tight end. He's, he's a he's a load. That was a nice that was a nice play by Shomo, just keeping that play alive. Diamonds had him in the backfield. Ball out there. He chunked that ball. This turned into a this turned into a whack shootout type game. It has. It's like a Pac-10 game. But with better officiating. On the kick for the uh, Broken Bow Savages is uh, number 13, Prater. He takes the snap. We got a flag on the play. Let's see what we got here, Clint. There's really no telling. Well, offside by the Diamonds. It's going to be going to be declined. But I really didn't see the. Uh, I thought the whistle was before the snap, and I thought the play was blown dead. I really don't know. They're going to re-kick the extra point here. I guess I guess I was right. There you go. Again. Snap. The kick by Prater. It's up. It's good. Savages, 35. Black Diamonds, 21. 413 left, third quarter. Tonight's game is brought to you by Valley Land and Title Company. Valley Land is located at 100 North Oak Street in Salisaw, and you can find them on the web at valleyland.net. Paul Agent, Julie Haywood, Becky Tony, Linda McClanahan, and Jim C. Covington are ready to handle your real estate needs with abstracting, title insurance, and escrow service. Valley Land and Title Company, because it really does matter where you close. Another one of our sponsors tonight is First National Bank. They'd like for you to go down there and open up one of those Generations Gold checking accounts. It offers travel discounts, prescription discounts, free checks, and tons of other benefits. Generations Gold is a checking account like no other. It's only available from a bank like no other. First National Bank Salisaw, member FDIC. All right, fans, Clint Smith, Brad Cameron, we're back. Third quarter, 413 left. Savages 35, Diamonds 21. Kind of a shootout game tonight. Team that gets the ball is usually going to score. Seems that way. Prater on to kick for the Savages. Kick is off. It's a nice kick by Prater. Taken at the 9 by Jake C. It's up to the 15, the 20. He's hit. He's roped. He's gang tackled over there on the side. Looks like he got mugged over there. <laughs> Number 68 on the tackle for the Savages. Jared Haley. Big Jared Haley? Well, he's really not big. Jared Haley's 5'9", 180. I appreciate that, buddy. First down diamonds. So how are those nachos for you? Well, there really wasn't enough cheese, and there was no peppers. Yeah. It's not like the old uh, Perry F. Lattimore concession stand where you get, you know, all the good stuff. Yeah, they're about the best nachos to be had. Bartell in center. He takes the snap. He turns. He gives the field pot. He's hit behind the line, but spins up. And it looks like he got back past the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of one on the play for field pot. Broken Bowl's doing a good job hitting him in the backfield. They have. They've done a they've done a really good job. He's broke a few tackles, but other than that, they've they've kept him contained. We've done a good job up here tonight of sweating and really being warm. <laughs> yeah, we have. What, so what, about, what do you think about that right guard now? Well, it's working for me. Uh, I see how it is. <laughs> Martell under center. He takes the snap. He turns. He gives the field pot to the left. Field pot's up the football field. He's still rumbling. He's a good carry oh. for field pot. Flag thrown in there at the looks end like of he the carried, Looks like he carried ten guys with him down the he field. Did. That he did. Flag on the end of the play. We're hoping it's a penalty on the Savages. We're hoping, but it doesn't look good. No, it really doesn't. Let's see what we got here, Clint. No, that was on on the Savages. Good call there. Yeah. I'm usually right. Are you sure about that? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. There you go. We'll ask Dylan. See what he thinks about that. It's going to remain neutral. 
Let's not ask Dylan. <laughs> 3-12 left, third quarter. First and 10 for the Diamonds. Nice carry for Phil Part right there. Bartell in her center, the turn, the give to Underwood up the middle. And our number 24, Kyle Underwood. He runs for a couple yards before he's brought down. He's done a good job tonight stepping in for Big Joe Branham. Let's give him three yards on the carry. Nice job tonight by the PA announcer. He's really doing a good job keeping us informed over here. Ball on the 39 of the Diamonds, second and six. The turn, the give the field pot to the left. He's up the football field. Good carry for field pot. He's going to be close to a diamond first down. If not, it looks like he got a front diamond first down. I think he did. Nice run outside by field pot. First down, diamonds. Scopus Law Office is a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond Football. They've been serving Sequoia County in eastern Oklahoma since 1971. Scopus Law Office has a strong tradition in law, just as the Black Diamonds have a strong tradition in football. To make an appointment, give them a call at 775-5546 or toll free at 888-775-5546. Go ahead and give them a holler down there. We hope you never need their services, but if and when you do, they'll, yeah. they'll take care of you. First and ten for the Diamonds. The turn, the fake to field part. It's a rollout pass to the right. He looks downfield. He throws. It's going to be short. It's going to be complete, though. Nice catch there. It's going to be close to a first down. That's Randy Taunchy on the catch again. Nice catch by Taunchy. That was a good, good job. Good tight end. He's good at sure-handed tight end. That was a good job coming back to the ball. And a good throw on the run by, by uh, yeah, that Bartell. Was. Bart he left that pass just a little bit short. But Taunchy oh. did a good job coming back to it, he helping some, his quarterback out. Got some fans coming in the booth so, here. Yeah. We'll, we'll really take all the help we can get. Got to get some security down here. High formation, Bartell turns, he gives the field pot up the middle. He plows over somebody on his way, on his way down to about the 40, those 41 yard line. It's going to be a first down south all. And it is a first down south. Moving those chains, that's what we want to see. That's what we like. Down to a minute and a half in the third quarter. First down, Diamonds. Ball on the 41. Eventually, Clint, we're going to have to have a stop, though. Yeah, we. I don't know. We've had a hard time with that offense tonight. They've got a good game plan put together. It's that right guard over there. Apparently so. He's done a. We're going to get, we're gonna have to get find out who he is. Neutralize him somehow. I think we can go down there and neutralize him. We'll send Dylan down there. Eye formation for the Diamonds. Double tight end set. The turn. The give outside the field party. He runs left. He breaks a tackle. He flattens a kid. <laughs> I see I see one getting up limping after that hit. That's <laughs> carry for field pot. He's not, the, he's not the first one got up limping after a Gain field pot run, seven, though. Seven, maybe eight for field pot right there. Let's give him seven. Gain of seven for field pot. Gonna bring up second and three. Second and two officially. Let's give him eight yards for Phil Pot. Clock goes under a minute here. Third quarter. Bartell in her center. Eye formation. Underwood and Phil Pot in the backfield. Bartell takes the snap. He turns. He gives it to Phil Pot. Nice run to the bounces to the outside. He's across the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. He's hit out of bounds down inside the five yard line. It's gonna hit him out of bounds at about the two, maybe the one. Good carry for Phil Pot getting down inside the five-yard line, Clint. He beat him around the end again, just put that speed on him. If he can break one tackle, you can, you can usually get outside and get some yards. Good carry for Phil Pot right there. Ball's going to be on the two-yard line of the Broken Bow Savages. Thirty-six point five left here, third quarter. Eye formation. Simon's in motion. The turn. They give the Stewart up the middle. Touchdown, Diamonds. Kyle Stewart up the middle. What a touchdown. He took that one in standing up. 
That was a good hole that the offensive line gave him to put through there. I think our right guard did a pretty good job on that play as well. Yes, he did. Clint. On to kick for the Diamonds, Carlos Nieto for the extra point. Bartel to hold. Bartel takes the snap. Kick is up. It's good. Savage is 35, Diamonds 28, 32.4 left, third quarter. This game's brought to you by Diamond Net, your hometown high-speed connection to the world. Through for digital cable, telephone service, and the fastest internet access in town. Tonight's game is being produced by the Sequoia County Times. If you would like a DVD of this game for $15, contact the Sequoia County Times or email football at seqcotimes.com. Sequoia County Times, your local news and sports leader. Here in Sequoia County, you'll find shelter insurance agent George Glenn. He's proud to serve this community and his customers for the past 35 years. Give George a call and ask about shelter services. This broadcast is also being brought to you tonight by Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, offering the Salisaw community the widest range of latest choices and options for your family. All right, fans. Diamond Net customers. Savage is 35. Diamond's 28. Need a defensive stop here. Carlos Nieto on a kick for the Diamonds. Something's kind of stanky up here in the box, man. There you go again. Why are you always looking at me when you say that? <laughs> Nieto with the kick. Short kick for the Diamonds. It bounces about the 25. It's taken by a broken bow up guy. He's going to be hit up at about the 34. Piles move forward to the 35 where the ball is going to be brought down. No, I really don't think it's you this time, Clint. Thanks, bud. <laughs> I'd blame it on Bailey if he was here. You know that. Yeah, I know. He, think, he takes the blame for a lot of things. Savages take over on the broken bowl 34, first and 10, 25 seconds left here in the third quarter. Savages is still up by one score, 35 to 28. Yeah, we really need to stop down here at the Savage end of the field so we can get some good field position. Broken Bowl's been getting good field position all night, folks. I mean, it's it's nothing new, and this is this is the best this is the best chance the Diamonds had this drive. This is probably the worst field position they've had since the first quarter. Yeah, we Shomo. really need to step up and force a punt here where we can get some good field position of our own. Shomo under center. He turns. He fakes the pitch. He's going to throw downfield. He throws it outside to his back king to the outside. He's got some running room. He's going to be knocked out of bounds. Gain of a handful on the play for King. Excuse me. Number seven, Albert Wright on the catch. It was number number. It was not number five, Gregory King on the run. Just got used to calling King's name. Yeah. That's bad, man. I need to get out of that habit. Gain of five for the Savages. You know to answer that tri trivia question Clint gave out earlier? Give us, send us an email at feedback at diamondnet.us. Show him a wonder center, eye formation. He turns. He gives it to Wright, I mean King. He's going to be stuffed up at the line of scrimmage. He may got a yard on the play, Clint. What do you think? If he did, he, he didn't get very much at all, and it was definitely hard-earned. Steven Branham in there on the tackle for the Diamonds. He was at the bottom of the pile. Several Diamonds were actually in there on the play. That'll bring up the end of the third quarter. From Broken Bow, Oklahoma, Southside Black Diamonds 28, Broken Bow Savages 35. Hello, I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. You know, Mallory Martin is the only funeral home in this area with an on-site crematory. We own it and we operate it. That means you can be sure with us, security is a top concern. At Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, your loved one never leaves our care. If you have any questions about the alternatives with cremation, please give me a call. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for nearly a century.
What the? All right. Who left the camera on? Blue ribbon Salazar over the low price cars. Crazy cars. All right. How do you turn this thing off? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for the fourth quarter of action from Memorial Stadium, Broken Bow. Brad Cameron, along with Clint Smith here at Memorial Stadium in Broken Bow. Diamonds 28, Savages 35. Ball on the 44 of Broken Bow. I think there's a ball positioning question out on the field. I'm not real sure what's going on. They're having a having a powwow. Clint, what was it? Again, you want to give them that trivia question tonight? Yes, I will. If you can name the player who played his high school career at Broken Bow, played his college career at Oklahoma State, and went on to play for the Cleveland Browns in the years 1962 through 1968. Name that player, and you're the winner of a free one-hour massage from New Image Day Spa. I know it, but I'm not going to tell anybody. I hope not. Also, folks, if you can name the school school mascot That's for, right. the, for the Savages, before they were the Savages, we'll get we'll probably hook you up with something. Back in, back, I think it was, what, 1924? Before 1924, they were named so. something other than the Savages. If you can name, if you can give, give us a name of what they were before, We'll give you, we'll, we'll at least shout your name out over the air. There you go. We may even come over to your house and maybe not. No well, thanks, now nobody's going to even attempt to answer it. We're still having a discussion. Yeah. I'm really kind of wondering if they know what they're doing. Sounds like there's some rowdy fans that are getting a little upset. Possible. Blue. Blue Ribbon Auto Group, they offer Chevrolet, Pontiac, GMC, Buick, Dodge, Chrysler, and Jeep products in Salisaw. They'll beat any advertised price, guaranteed. Just give them a call or go see them south of I-40 on Highway 59. That's Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low-priced cars. Well, they've been moving the ball back and forth and back and forth, and I really don't know where they, where they need the ball at, Clint. I don't either. Was you observing at the end of the third quarter where the ball was spotted? Actually, I was observing your nachos. I can tell. Well, we don't have that capability yet, but an instant replay would be good. Looks like it's gonna be about a third and two now is what they've concluded. I don't know about that really. A lot of, got a lot of fans up here tonight. And they're not very happy about this. I think we've got about as many fans here as the home team does. They're not very happy about the, the ball position. Looks like we got a broken bow coach out on the field. And I really don't know what's going on. Looks like he wants to meet Coach Terry out on the field. We may have some scrapping going on here. <laughs> He's pointing at something over over by the concession stand. He's telling me about them nachos over there. Yeah, but he is. He's telling me about He's saying, sure. Coach, don't, don't go over there and get those nachos. That cheese is cold. You really don't want it. And if you're a Pepper fan, then you're just out of yeah, luck. you're out of luck. I don't know, though. Those are the home side concessions over there. They may be a little better. I really don't. Let's see what Grizzly Adams here, the referee, has to say, has to say about it. He's a big burly referee. <laughs> Looks kind of like a lumberjack. <laughs> Paul Bunyan, even. Coach Terry is uh, discussing it over with him. See what we come up with here. If we could read lips, we could. We probably couldn't. We could couldn't inform bring it the, to you. We could inform inform the fans of what was going on. Well, it looks like they're going to leave it at about a third and two. At about the 40, what, 42, 43-yard line? Don't really, look like we're gonna be, don't really look like we're going to be getting home early tonight, Clint. I wasn't planning on it anyway. I 
was at least wanting to watch the replay of the highlights. So you'll have to catch them online. We do have a score to update in 4A4 action. It was at a halftime, I believe, Ida Bell 7, Steelwell 3. Third and one for the Warriors, off formation, Shomo under center. He takes the snap, he turns, he gives the king. It's going to be a first down, Savage, as he runs up across the 45-yard line out to about the 47, where he's brought down by the Diamonds. So it's going to be a first down for the Savages. We'll tell you what, Broken Bow has just, they've just eaten that clock up the whole game. They've put together some really long drives and just chewed that clock up. We really need to get it stopped and get that ball back. Ball on the 48 of Broken Bow. Shomo comes out. Our formation for the Savages. He takes the snap. It's going to be an option play. He's going to keep it around the end. He's up to the 50. He's going to be tackled on the outside there by the Diamonds. It's like number 82, Stephen Branham in on the tackle. Also number 23, Randy Tonchi. Gain of about three there for Shomo. 11. That's not good, Clint. We got tornado activity in Choctaw County. That's really not good at all. At least we're in a rock press box, though. So if, if we do have tornado, tornadic action here in McCurtain County, we would uh, probably be safe. I think this press box is built like a fortress. I know it's hot. Our formation for the Savages to turn the pitch outside to King. He's up the field. He breaks tackles. He's loose. One defender to beat. He's beating. He is gone. 10 5 touchdown. Number five, Gregory King for the touchdown. He's run all over us all night. Clint, what are we going to do? I don't know. I don't know. We've had our hands on him all night, but he just keeps breaking the tackles. Ten forty-six left. Broken bow on to kick the extra point. Got some, got some inquisitive fans. What did he want to know? He was asking what the commotion was about the placement of the ball. Oh. And nobody seems to have an answer. Looks like the kick is up for Prater, and it is good. Diamond still down two touchdowns. It's a seesaw battle here. 42 for we the got, Savages, 28 for the Diamonds. We've got 70 points on the board. It's, it's been an offensive ball game all night. We're really look, watching for them tornadoes now. Not the Clinton Red Tornadoes, is it? Well, no, they moved down to 3A, so we oh, really okay. don't have to worry about that. Okay, anymore. I was worried there for a minute. I guess we got tornadoes in Choctaw County. Any idea where Choctaw County is located? No, I'm, but... You know, I'm sure it's west of here, but you know I have my handy-dandy Google map here that may just very well have that. I don't think it has counties listing. Oh. But don't you know, underestimate. I'd, I'd say possibly in the McAllister Don't underestimate area, the power of Diamond Net Internet service. <laughs> I don't think it's the diamond interest, or I think it's the mapping you got here. Hmm. Not really seeing it on there. Prater on to kick for the Savages. 10.46 left, fourth quarter. Savages 42, Diamonds 28. Did you come up with anything there? That's a big negative. We can give you a temperature reading, though. It's 120 in here in this bread box. <laughs> With a heat index of 140. They didn't know he was a meteorologist, too, did That's they? That's right. Prater to kick for the Savages. Pretty good kick for the Savages. He's going to kick it deep. Taking, it's going to be a touchback for the Diamonds. They didn't even know we were weathermen, either. No. This is Jake C. Took the kick for the Diamonds. Touchback. Diamond offense back on the field. 10.46 left, fourth quarter. Perry's office supply has been serving Sequoia County since 1978. We have everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. We have it all from paper clips to computer supplies, even office furniture. You can even send and receive faxes at Perry's. Just come see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak in Salisaw. You call, that's all. He'll haul. All right, we're back. Bartell under center. Eye formation. He turns. He gives it to Phil Potty. He's around the left side. He's got some room. He's down the sideline. The 30, the 40. He breaks the tackle to the 50, the 45, the 40, the 30. He breaks another one. He's down inside the 20 where he's brought down. Big run for Phil Potty right there. Nice job. Just what we needed. 
Just what we needed. Bubba Philpott on the carry and a big run. He got outside. He got down the sideline. He got loose. And that one defender stayed in front of him. And but he had to lead blocker downfield. Yes, he did, Clint. Nice observation. I'm very observant. Looks like Philpott's maybe limping just a little bit after that run. I probably would be too if I ran him for all those yards. <laughs> he, he looks like he'll walk it off, though. Oh, it looks like a flag on the play. They're bringing it back, walking it back. Although I never saw a flag on the field, did you? Well, it looks like it's down here on the oh, other side. Oh, there it coach is. is down here, Clint. Right next to Coach Terry. I'm sure he loves that. I'm sure, that's gonna, it... I'm sure it's going to be a hold. Hold for the diamond. Let's bring that back. All the excitement that we were feeling has been shot down. Well, got some unruly black diamond fans here after that call. They're they're really not happy with that, and they're they're voicing their opinions. Yes, they are. First, it's going to bring up first down and twenty for the diamonds. Ball on the fifteen. Ball on the. Doesn't really look like the fifteen. Looks like more like the thirteen. I, think, I think, believe the thirteen. That's great. Bartell under center, eye formation. Offset eye, Kyle Stewart in the backfield. He turns, he pitches outside to Stewart. He's hit. He's breaking tackles, but he's going to be stuffed. Gang tackled. Loss of about one on the play for Stewart. Nice defense there, nice pursuit there by the Savages. Well, we still got 10 minutes left here in the game. If we can get a get a quick strike from Philpott, maybe, or... Even Stewart's capable of a of a long run and get we, this. We just need to move the football down the field and put it in the right. end zone. That's right, we do. We're going to have to come up with a good defensive stop. Or a turnover would be nice. So they don't turn the ball over much when they're, they're keeping the right kids with the ball. Phil Bartell under center, eye formation. He takes the snap. He fakes. He's going to throw downfield. He's got a receiver. It's big Steven Branham. Nice catch. He's still rumbling. He's brought down, though. Nice catch. That's going to get close back up to the original line of scrimmage. Looks like Phil Potts on the sidelines getting an ankle retaped after that run. I'm sure they'll get him. I'm sure they'll get him back in there. Oh, yeah. There's really not much to keep him out of the ball game, I don't think. Ball is back to the original line of scrimmage, Clint. You like that call? I do. That was good. Very observant on your part. I'm glad I don't have to do everything for you. Third and ten for the Diamonds. Ball on the 20 again. Bartell takes the snap. He turns. He fakes. He's going to throw the football down the field. He's heavily pressured. He's going to be sacked down at about the 14-yard line. Looks like number 53, Michael Noah, got the sack for the Savage. Looks like we're going to give the ball back to Broken Bow with pretty good field position again. It's going to bring it fourth down now. Really need that line to step up and get some good protection here because it'd be devastating to get a punt blocked down this close to the end zone. Leffler and the punt team comes on for the Diamonds. Why are you taking my roster from me? Why are you asking? <laughs> Leffler takes a snap. He punts. It's a high punt. It's going to hit it about the 40, where it's going to bounce out of bounds at about the 45. We have lots of commotion going on over here on the Salisaw side, but looks like it's going to bounce and go out of bounds. What's all the commotion about, Clint? I really don't know. Because every little detail counts. You can count on Salisaw Lumber for quality building materials, including Valspar products and Anderson windows. Good results begin with a solid foundation, and that requires the right materials for the job. That's why the pros in do-it-yourselfers trust Salisaw Lumber for selection and service. What about you, Brad? Are you a pro or a do it more of a do-it-yourselfer? I'm more of a pro, really. Are you? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'd say so. First and 10 for the Diamonds, 8.04 left, fourth quarter. First and 10 for the Savages, sorry. 
ball on the 45 of the diamond. Shomo under center. He takes the snap. He pitches outside to King. He's up the field to about the 45. He's hitting stuff. No, no gain on the play for the Savages. It'll be a flag on the play in the, in the broken bow backfield. Let's hope for a hold right here. Yes. It looks like that's what we're really going to get. I'm really hoping so. It's there be, it is. It's going to be a it's going to be a hold. It's going to be a big 10 yarder. More than 10. Ooh. We've got an unsportsmanlike conduct. Had, had to have been. I didn't see the call. Personal foul was what the call was on the Savages. I like that. Let's move it back. I'm liking that. Let's move it back to the Savage 41 where they take the ball in the eye formation. Shomo under center. He takes the snap. He fakes. He looks downfield. He's going to throw. It's going to be intercepted by the Diamonds. Number 30, Kyle Stewart is loose. Nice hit, and he runs over a kid down inside the 20-yard line. Nice job by the Diamonds to get the ball back and get excellent field position right there. Good job. <laughs> he put one of those Brandon type hits on that kid. <laughs> he flattened him. It was he awesome. Dropped the hammer on. That was nasty, wasn't it? That was. Nice job by Stewart. I'm feeling a defensive player of the week coming on for him. The two oh, picks. definitely. So Stewart gets us back in the ball game here. Looks like we'll take over with on the 16-yard line in Savage territory. First and 10, Southsaw. 7:24 left, fourth quarter. Carl Stewart back on the field. He's doing it all. <laughs> Bill Pot still on the sideline. Looks like he's injured. Looks like an ankle problem, maybe. I wouldn't be surprised seeing him back in the game, though. Really. Oh no. Bartell under center. He takes the snap. He gives it to Stewart on the outside. He's tripped up and hit hard. There's number 53 again. He's excited. Michael Noah. Oh, Michael Noah. Did you know uh, he made the tackle? I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> Loss of one on the play. Uh. Lost a two on the play, actually, for the Diamonds. Eye formation. Underwood and Stewart in the backfield. Bartell under center. He takes the snap. He rolls, le he rolls left. He's got a man out there in the flats. He throws. It's complete. No, it's going to be. It's going to be incomplete. It's going to be. It's going to be caught and out of bounds. Are they going to call it a catch? Oh, call it right. a catch and out of bounds. Number two, Trey Hunt. Number two, Trey Hunt on the catch, right? Yes, yes. Number two, Trey Hunt on the catch. All right. It's going to be a third down and short, third down and about three situation. Looks like Stewart's going to be asked to carry the load here for the time being. As Philpott's still on the sidelines getting that ankle looked at. He's got Jim Turner down there looking at it, though. He's in good hands. Offset eye formation for Stewart. The turn, the pitch to Stewart. He's up inside the 10, down to about the 5. It's going to be a diamond first down, I believe, Clint. Yes. And it down. is. First down, Salasaw. Gain of about 3 on the play for uh, Stewart. In difficult times, it's comforting to know that you can rely on Agent Funeral Home and their 68 years of experience to help you and your family. Yes, it is. Eye formation for the Diamonds. Jordan Simons in motion. The turn to give the Stewart up the middle. He's in. Touchdown, Diamonds. Touchdown, Southpaw. Diamondnet, Diamondnet people, we wish you were here. Turn it into a dandy. But don't forget to tune in at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning to catch the video replay of this game. Yes, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. You'll be happy you woke up that early. Nieto on the kick for the Diamonds. Bartell to hold. Good snap. Kick is up. And it's good. Savage is 42. Diamonds 35. 614 left. Fourth quarter. Tonight's game is brought to you by Valley Land and Title Company. Valley Land is located at 100 North Oak Street in Salisaw. And you can find them on the web at valleyland.net. They're ready to handle all your real estate needs with abstracting, title insurance, and escrow service. Valley Land and Title Company, because it really does matter where you close. Another one of our sponsors tonight is First National Bank. 
go down and open up a Generations Gold account. They offer tra it offers travel discounts, prescription discounts, free checks, tons of other benefits. Generations Gold is a checking account like no other, partnering with over 200 local businesses, offering local discounts all around the community. And it's only available from a bank like no other, First National Bank Salisoff, member FDIC. The Scofus Law Office is a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond Football. They've been serving Sequoia County in Eastern Oklahoma since 1971. Just go down, see them at the corner of Creek and Elm Streets, or give them a call at 775-5546, or toll free at 888-775-5546. Carlos Nieto on the kick for the Diamonds. 614 left, fourth quarter, Diamonds 35, Savage is 42. Looks like I've seen some lightning flash, Clint. High kick for Nieto. Bounces, and it's taken by number seven, King. He's up the football field up the middle where he's hit by the diamonds across the 40. Taken by number seven, Albert Wright for the Savages. Brought down by number 44. That's big Shane Flashner again. Shane <laughs> another Flashner. Another big special teams play. Need some defense to come up right here, Clint. I need something to drink. I'm about to thirst out. Yeah. A lot of thirsting going on up here. There, there he is. A lot of sweating going on. <laughs> Shomo comes out under center eye formation. Got one receiver right. He turns. He gives it to King outside. He's not going to get much. There we He's go. stuffed in the backfield by the Diamond defense. Number 20, Blake Ray right there. Looks like number 30. Kyle Stewart also went on the tackle. Jordan Simons looked like he was there too. Let's give him two yards, maybe. That's a generous spot. But you never know about the uh, the old spotter. You never know what you'll get. Second and eight for the Savages. Shomo takes a snap. He runs the option. He's going to give it to the fullback. He's not going to get much. He may get a yard, maybe two out of play. Nice stop there in the middle. It's like Ryan Hooper. Clint Agent also in there on the tackle. Excuse me, Clay Agent in there on the tackle. Let's make it third and six for the Savages. We need to stop right here, Clint. Yes, we do. Let's get Kyle Stewart out there in coverage. Out of formation. One receiver, two tight ends set for the Savages. He turns, he pitches outside to the right. He's up the field, he's hit. He's still running, but he's not going to get the first down. He's going to be about two yards short, pick up a three or four on the play for Wright. Actually, that was Gregory King on the carry for the Savages. Sorry. I get them two mixed up. Well, they run a lot alike. Fast? Yeah. <laughs> Fast and outside. Fourth down, and let's call it two for the Savages. I'm sure they'll punt here because I really don't think they're going to give the Diamonds good field position. Jake C. back to return for the Diamonds. Not sure the punter for the Savages, but he's in. He's back to punt. You got a number on that punter, Clint? No, I can't. Looks like number, number 10, Alex James, is the up guy for the Savages. Looks like we're going to have some type of... Looks like a delay a game. I think they took a little too much time. Delay game on the Savages. Punter's going to be number 30. You've got a name to go number with Number 30, that. D. Wayne Noah. Must be Ken to Michael Noah. Or maybe not. I really don't know. Or maybe so. That could be a trivia question. I don't think any of the Southsaw fans are going to know that. I don't think so either. I don't know many Noahs from Southsaw. Noah on the kick for the Savages. He takes the snap. Diamond pressure, but they're not going to get there. It's going to take a diamond bounce and be down by Broken Bow. Diamond's decent field position. Looks like they're going to start at about the 34-yard line. 3.53 left, fourth quarter. Diamond's 35, Savage is 42. Tonight's game is produced by the Sequoia County Times. If you would like a DVD of the game for $15, contact the Sequoia County Times or email football at seqcotimes.com. Sequoia County Times, your local news and sports leader as well as shelter insurance. Here in Sequoia County, you'll find shelter insurance agent George Glenn. He's proud to serve this community and his customers for the past 35 years. Give George a call and ask about all of shelter services. All right, Clint, thanks a lot. 
Diamonds come back out. Bartell inner center. I formation. Kyle Stewart in the backfield. Phil Pot still on the sidelines, but he's up moving around. Stephen Branham in motion. The turn. The give to Stewart outside. He's up across the 30. Tripped up about the 34. Gain of about three, maybe four on the play for Stewart. If you remember, towards the end of last year, Philpott had some ankle problems as well. I don't know if it's the same one that he's having problems with tonight. I don't know about the clock keeper here at the uh, Memorial Stadium. He's liking to let that clock run, isn't he? Officially a pickup of three on the play for Stewart. I formation. Bartell takes a snap. He rolls right. He's going to pass. He's tripped up in the backfield. Number 44, sacks Morgan Bailey. No kin to Josh Bailey on the sack for the uh, Savages. I'm sure Morgan Bailey's glad about that. Sure he is too. <laughs> He's going to bring up second and 73 for the Savages. I mean for the Diamonds. Uh, let's call it about second and 13. I don't know what the 73 is for, Clint, really. I don't either. Bartell enters center, offset eye formation, field pot in the backfield. Bartell takes the snap. He rolls left, good protection. He zips it out there. It's going to be tipped and incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down for the Diamonds and about 13. We'll see what they do here. You've just about got to kick it from this from this area on the field. I don't really think you'd want to give the ball back. Diamonds, Diamonds do have three timeouts remaining, so I, I believe they're going to kick it away and use their timeouts. Bartell still on the football field. Well, maybe not. Terry looks like he's going to send the play in here. Fourth and 13 for the Diamonds. 2.38 left, fourth quarter. That's surprising. Savage is 42, Diamonds 35. Let's show some confidence in, confidence in your offense, though. Bartell, Phil under Pot. center. Philpott back in the Phil game. Philpott in the backfield. The turn, the fake. He's going to throw. He's got a man downfield. He throws. Overthrown. No man close. No flags on the play. It looks like Broken Bowl is going to take over. At the 30 28. Looks like a misread on the. Looks like Bartell wanted something long and the Diamond receivers did not run a real long route. Looks like they misread the coverage. So, put. Broken Bow takes over with 2.31 left, fourth quarter, on the Diamond 27. That's still not over yet, Clint. When you got Phil Pot in your backfield, it's not over. That's true. There's definitely no fans leaving early tonight. No. On either any, side of the field. I don't field. see any Diamond fans leaving. No Savage fans leaving either. Shomo, under center, he takes a snap. He gives it to King up the middle. He's loose. He's got yardage. He's going to be out close to a first down. Number five, Gregory King on the carry for the Savages. He's done a lot of carrying tonight for him. He has. If we had our stat man here tonight, we'd tell you how many yards he has. Pick up of about nine on the play. Second down. Looks like we're going to bring out the uh, chains here. He's close to a first down. Last thing we need here is a broken bowl score with 222 That's left true. in the ball game. I'd like to thank Blue Ribbon Auto Group. They offer Chevrolet, Pontiac, GMC, Buick, Dodge, Chrysler, and Jeep in Salisaw. They'll beat any, beat any advertised price, guaranteed. Just give them a call or go see them south of I-40 on Highway 59. Blue Ribbon, Salisaw, home of the low-priced cars. Two eleven now, remaining fourth quarter. Savage's ball, first and ten. Picked him a 10 on that last play for Gregory King, number five for the Savages. Shomo under center, he takes a snap, he gives it to King. King's hitting the backfield. He escapes, but he doesn't escape. He's brought down Kyle Stewart, number 20, Blake Ray, number 65, Matt Richardson. Big number 58. Clay Big Agent number 58. There, Clay Agent in there. Name a couple more. They're probably in there on the tackle. <laughs> probably so. Clock continues to run. Second and 10. Gain of nothing for Gregory King. I'd almost go with a timeout here, Clint. I, I think I would, too. I would show him under center, eye formation for the Savages. He takes the snap. He turns. He fakes the king. He's going to keep the ball. He's got lots of room outside. Jordan Simons, good pursuit, makes the tackle. Number two, Trey Hunt, also there. 
pickup of about two, maybe three for Shomo. And that's about it. Looks like we got a timeout, Salasaw. 109 left, fourth quarter. Diamonds 35, Savages 42. Harry's Office Supply has been serving Sequoia County since 1978. We have everything you need to keep your office running efficiently. We've got it all from paper slips to computer supplies to office furniture. You can even send and receive faxes at Perry's. Go see Gus Perry at 205 North Oak in Salisaw. You call, that's all. He'll haul. He'll help you out. Stephen Jumper will. He's, he's the man. Salisaw Lumber, because every little detail counts. You can count on Salisaw Lumber for quality building materials, including Valspar products and Anderson windows. Good results begin with a solid foundation, and that requires the right materials for the job. That's why pros and do-it-yourselfers trust Salisaw Lumber for selection and service. Another one of our sponsors is Valley Land and Title Company. They're located at 100 North Oak in Salisaw, and you can find them on the web at valleyland.net. They're ready to handle all of your real estate needs with abstracting, title insurance, and escrow service. Valley Land and Title Company, because it really does matter where you close. And in difficult times, it's comforting to know that you can rely on Agent Funeral Home and their 68 years of experience to help you and your family. It's Agent Funeral Home, personal service with distinction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 109 left, fourth quarter. Diamonds 35, Savages 42, Broken Bow Ball on the Diamond 15, third and nine. Need to stop right here, Clint. We certainly do. Shomo under center. Eye formation. Turn the pitch outside to King. He's hit. He's brought down. He's not going to have a first down. He's not going to have a first down. It's going to bring up fourth down. We'll see what the Diamonds do here. Number 59, Ryan Hooper on the tackle for the Diamonds. You would really think Broken Bow would go for the field goal here to make it a two-score game. If the, But I haven't seen. I don't know their extra point kicker has done all right, but I don't know. It's probably the what same, kind of range he has. It's probably the same kicker. Yeah, I, I don't know what kind of range he has. Looks like it would be about a... He might be a rangy guy. It looks like he'd be about a 24, 25-yard field goal from this spot on the field. Black Diamonds would like to recognize Scofus Law Office. They're a proud supporter and sponsor of Black Diamond Football. Been serving Sequoia County in eastern Oklahoma since 1971. Scofus Law Offices have a strong tradition in law, just as the Black Diamonds have a strong tradition in football. Located at the corner of Creek and Elm Streets, the attorneys at the Scofus Law Offices are here to help you with all of your legal needs. To make an appointment, give them a call at 775-5546 or toll free at 888-775-5546. Also, First National Bank would like to ask you to go down there and open up a Generations Gold checking account. It offers travel discounts, free checks, and tons of other benefits. That's First National Bank Salisaw, member FDIC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Broken Bow back on the football field. Let's see what they're going to do here, Clint. Looks like they're going to go for it, really. Shomo leaves the field, though. Let's talk to the coach. They have a timeout. No, he's back on the field. 15 seconds on the play clock. Looks like they're going to go for it. It's fourth down and three for the Savages. They are going to go for it. Shomo under center, eye formation, two receivers split out. Looks like he's going to try to draw them off sides, but it doesn't work. Diamonds didn't bite. Timeout Savages, it looks like they will bring their field goal kicker on now. Tonight's game is produced by the Sequoia County Times. If you would like a DVD of the game for $15, contact Sequoia County Times or email football at seqcotimes.com. Sequoia County Times, your local news and sports leader. Here in Sequoia County, you'll find shelter insurance agent George Glenn. He's proud to serve this community and his customers for the last 35 years. Give George a call and ask about shelter's services. Tonight's game is also being brought to you by Diamond Net, your hometown high-speed connection to the world. We offer digital cable, telephone service, and the fastest internet access in town. I bet if you put that fast internet service to work, you could find the answer to tonight's trivia question. You know, I bet you could do. And if you put that fast internet to work, you could also email us at that's feedback at diamondnet.us. That's right. That is feedback at diamondnet.us. We may have a correct answer sitting there waiting for us. We have no wireless internet up here, so... Yeah, we'll check it when we get back in tonight. See what we got. 58.9 left in the fourth quarter. Diamonds 35, Savages 42. Looks like Broken Bow comes out in the eye formation. They're going to go for it. Shomo under center. He takes the snap. He turns. He pitches it outside. It's going to be a first down. Looks like he's going to be close. It's going to be real close. It's going to be brought down by number 20. 
Blake Ray. Looked like he had it, but then he got horse collared there at the last second. It may have that may have stopped him short. I really don't know. Nice play by Ray making the tackle, but it's going to be close. Yeah. First down, First down, down south off. He didn't get it, Clint. We got 51 seconds to get down the football field. Diamonds 35, Savages 42, 51.7 left in the fourth quarter, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you, hope you Diamond fans, Diamond Net customers haven't went to bed yet because this could be a finale, a finale. What do you think, Clint? Does that mean like the end? Yeah, but a good one. Okay. You had me worried there for a minute. Bartell on, Phil Pot in the backfield for the Diamonds. Underwood joins him. Phil Bartell under center. He takes the snap. He rolls right. He's going to pass. He rolls out. He's got a receiver downfield. He hits him. He gets out of bounds. Gets out of bounds. Nice catch by number two, Trey Hunt, who gets out of bounds at about the 18 yard line. So, Diamonds stop the clock. Get about, uh, let's give him 10, 11 yards on the play and get out of bounds. Looks like the Diamonds have one timeout left. Or so says the scoreboard anyway. Diamonds do have one timeout remaining, 43.6. Diamonds come out, two receivers split out left. Offset eye formation, field pot in the backfield. Bartell turns, he fakes the field pot, he's gonna throw, he's got a man downfield. He throws, it's gonna be intercepted, intercepted by the Savages. Intended for number one, David Hadley. Intercepted by number 81, Albert Rivera. So that looks like that will probably do it for the Diamonds. Bartell threw it up for grabs, and the broken bow defender went up and got it. He had an open receiver, but a little overthrown just a little bit. A little bit. Nice play by the safety Rivera there for the Savages. 35.8 here. We're not going to call it over yet because I've seen crazy oh, things no. happen. I was at the Miami game in the playoffs last year. That's right. We actually brought that game to our Diamond Net yes, subscribers. We did. Yes, we did. Looks like they will down the football. Southside will probably take a timeout. That'll be their last timeout. It doesn't appear that they're going to. Clock continues to run down to 20 seconds. Depending on the play clock, that may be it, Clint. Looks, like, it looks like it. Looks like that's going to be it. So from Memorial Stadium, Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Savages, 42. Salisaw Black Diamonds, 35. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors one more time. That's, that will be Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Blue Ribbon Auto Group, Perry's Office Supply, Salisaw Lumber, Valley Land and Title Company, Agent Funeral Home, First National Bank Salisaw, Scopus Law Office, Diamond Net, Sequoia County Times, and shelter insurance. Again, ladies and gentlemen, a final here from Memorial Stadium, Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Broken Bow Savages, 42. Salisaw Black Diamonds, 35. That moves Salisaw to three and one on the year. Excellent game tonight. Good game if you're out here at the game. Which you're probably not if you're listening to us, but it's a good game. And I want to thank everyone for watching us. For Dylan Jasna and Jeff Mayo and Clint Smith. I'm Brad Cameron signing off. We'll see you at home next week from Perry F. Lattimore Stadium as the Diamonds take on the Steelwell Indians. Again, the final score, Broken Bow Savage is 42, Southside Black Diamonds 35. Everyone have a good weekend, and we'll see you next week.
here we've got an incredible selection and a friendly knowledgeable staff. Come on, TV! But ultimately, our bottom, bottom line. line. It's love and love. Our bottom line is your, is, is your bottom line. That's why we call ourselves the home of the low price cars. Yeah, that and the fact that the house of Bob doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> Blue Ribbon Salisaw, home of the low price cars. Nice suit, Bob. Thanks, guys. I'm Todd Martin of Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory. You know, Mallory Martin is the only funeral home in this area with an on-site crematory. We own it and we operate it. That means you can be sure with us, security is a top concern. At Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, your loved one never leaves our care. If you have any questions about the alternatives with cremation, please give me a call. Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Crematory, Eastern Oklahoma's funeral home for nearly a century.